Welcome to the Big Easy, the Crescent City, the city that care for God. This is New Orleans, Hollywood South. Here beats a different kind of pulse. And here, there is no place for mediocrity. Tonight, the glitter and glam, the bright lights and big moments will be the focus of the wrestling world. For these decorated champions and fearless warriors are resolute, rippling with heat, railing for revenge. And in the main event, Prime Time beats Primal Instinct. This is the modern day irresistible force meets the immovable object. I'm the greatest champion in all the professional wrestling. All down goes Moose! On the shoulders of giants, they stand tall, unconquerable, unyielding, unleashed. Welcome to the Battle in the Bayou. This is No Surrender. Tonight, the landscape of this company is going to change. Live on Impact Plus and Fight TV from the Alario Center in New Orleans, Louisiana, Impact Wrestling presents No Surrender. And Tom, we kick it off with a banger of a matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your No Surrender opening contest. Set for one fall with the winner becoming the number one contender for the X Division Championship. Introducing first, representing Bullet Club, the ultimate finesser, Chris Bay. It's a big night for Chris Bay and his Bullet Club brothers. Not only is Bay about to compete, perhaps for a future X Division title opportunity, but later tonight, Jay White is in action, facing Eric Young, a Violent by Design, a first time ever matchup. And then also for the Impact World Tag Team titles, the Good Brothers defend against the Gorillas of Destiny in a matchup happening for the first time ever. So much history potentially to be made here tonight, and what a way to start. They say I'm rushing, but I know it's perfect time. Accompanied to the ring by Madman Fulton from Atlantic City, New Jersey, inevitable, he sustain. Remember, in a fatal four-way match, there are no countouts and no disqualifications. First man to gain pinfall or submission inside the ring is your winner. So the backup of Madman Fulton for Ace Austin, something to keep an eye on. Always got to have eyes in the back of your head in a multi-man matchup like this, but especially when you got an X-Factor the size of Fulton on the outside. We'll see uh, Austin's, dr uh, Austin's dress for Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras right around the corner here in New Orleans. We know that because Canal Street's been absolutely jam-packed. The entire oh, city's <laughs> been lit, and they are excited for no surrender as well. The next participant, Jake Something. I love seeing Jake something involved in an X Division style match. Not only has it been trending in the right direction, picked up a big win in singles competition against Chris Bay, but seeing a man 6'2", 262 pounds, compete in this division, it harkens back memories to former X Division champions like Abyss and Samoa Joe. I've been in the ring with Jake something. I know what he brings. He reminds me of the hidden muscle of the X Division. You'd never expect him, but he's there and he is impactful. Jake something ready to throw around bodies toe to toe there with Fulton. Finally, from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Speedball, Mike Belly. 
Mike Bailey has been waiting for an opportunity like this. Frankly, he's been working towards an opportunity like this for years. We talked about it on the countdown to the Hard to Kill pay-per-view where he made his in-ring debut for this company. It took him five years to finally be able to come from his home country of Canada here to the United States to take advantage of this opportunity with Impact Wrestling. And just roughly a month later, he could see himself in title contention. Mike Bailey might be one of the newest additions to the Impact locker room, but let's not, you know, muddy this around. Mike Bailey is the veteran in this matchup as far as time served in professional wrestling. 16 years in the business. Out of everybody in the match, he's got the most experience. My question is, uh, is he going to work well with Ace Austin? Austin's been trying to recruit Bailey. Okay. Some sportsmanship there between Bailey and Austin Ooh. and a big right. And there's Bay. And just like that, this breaks down to two. Oh, Jake, something. He's thinking about Ooh, that. Oh. Press. Caught by Bay. Caught by Bay early on in a kick out. These two picking up right where they left off in a matchup that basically welcomed Bay and Jay White here to the impact zone. That's right. Jake, something. This match has just started, and he's already set to fly, but Mike Bailey. Uh oh. Mike Bailey, who's beating oh. Jake something in one-on-one -on -one competition, trying to light up the big man. Oh! It's a smart competition by, frankly, all three of the smaller guys in this match. You got to take out the big guy. That's right. Take out your biggest oh. threat. And right now, Mike Bailey's taking out every threat. Bailey already busted open at the mouth. Oh, and a big fans press. Just like that, Jake something can turn the tide of a matchup. The? And is he, he might be looking to toss oh, Mike Bailey. Oh, oh he suplexed him clean out of the ring. Took out Fulton, Bale, and, and Austin. Yes, it was. As now Jake something Good looking God. to follow Good that God. up. Over the top, wipes out the field. Take a look, flying oh. high. The big 777, that is Jake something, is now sending a message to the entire X Division. Throws Chris Bay back inside the ring. Again, first man to gain pinfall or submission inside the ring. We'll go on to challenge Trey Miguel for the X Division title. Miguel, who we saw defeat John Skyler on the countdown to no surrender. Great to see Miguel back in action here. In the oh. And look at Austin go. There's the cover on something and a kick out. The clash of styles in this matchup is incredible. Everybody brings something to the table. The ingenuity of Ace Austin, oh. that finesse of Chris Bay, the power of Jake something, and the discipline and skill of Mike Bailey. Gambit in New Orleans, how appropriate. Knee right to the face here of something. Ace Austin, a two-time X Division champion, 2021 Super X Cup winner as well. Would love to make it a hat trick. Go to that dance one more oh. time take on Trey Miguel. Ooh. Oh, what a kick. And something is down. Austin into another cover kick out at two. And it was Austin who earlier this week in a promo said every time he faces Trey Miguel, it's Trey Miguel who ends up on the ground, flat on the ground. He has the advantage over someone like Trey Miguel. So he wants another shot. Well, something getting all he can handle right now from Ace Austin, however, Ace Austin not going to enjoy the power advantage in this one. Absolutely not. Ooh, trying to roll away. Oh, and there's Chris Bay into the fray. It's the danger of a fatal four-way. Ooh. Might this just sit on the dock I of the bay. <laughs> no eat need. some hay. I just may. Leave, leave the poetry oh. to me, Tommy. But the poetry in motion is in front of us. Oh, my God. Bay got Bailey and something. What a night it could be for Chris Bay and Bullet Club. All he needs is one shot. Over the top, oh my he gets God. the ball. And you can see Chris Bay, he's grabbing at his right calf. Oh, and now Jake Something is grabbing at his mouth. Thanks to Ace Austin. High risk, high reward for a reason. These guys do not stop moving. This match. Oh, and Bay playing it up for the cameras. That didn't work out. You can't do that, not in a fatal four way, not in a match with these characters in there, not with these guys at both. Oh, Mike Bailey with a moonsault off the top rope. 
we can barely get a sentence out before someone else goes flying in this matchup. Speedball, Mike Bailey was clutching at his leg, and then Bailey's like, watch this, and took oh. out multiple competitors all at once. Meanwhile, back to live action. And Bailey just hitting that twisting kick right onto Ace Austin. Could be looking to finish this off, but not Jake something oh. here. Was trying to set up her ultimate weapon, and now something. Ooh. Oh my God, oh my God. Look at for Whoa. a power bomb, a stop to Austin. Stop for good measure, and here it is. Oh my God. Jake Something didn't know what happened. Oh, and a poison runner. I know Chris Bay scrambling for a cover. Could be. Takes the arm. Oh, and a kick out. Bay, a former X Division champion in his own right, would love to battle Trey Miguel for the title. Going up top now. What a match that would be. What's this going to be? Going for the huge flash, and he got every bit of it into the cover. cover goes Bay. On Austin oh. That's an innovative way to break up a pinfall. Shooting star press out, almost out of nowhere comes Mike Bailey. Watch this. Chris Bay, beautiful Boom. frog splash, went into the cover on Austin. And then Bailey moments oh. later broken oh. up. And now Bailey's looking for his teeth in the front row. That haymaker from Jake something can catch you out of nowhere, knock your teeth and your lights out. Look at the bodies around the ring. Fatal four-way match. Winner challenges Trey Miguel for the X Division title. Incoming. Oh. 262 pounds right to the ribs. I'll think about him to the void. Austin catches it, spins it around. A oh. little bit of teamwork between the two, I don't know, potential friends, potential teammates. That's what Austin would like. Absolutely. Bailey wants to do things on his own, but you know, alliances happen in weird ways in Fatal Four Ways. Bailey looking more willing now. Oh! oh the art of finesse. Here's a cover. Here's a cover. And Austin saving the matchup. That could have been three. If Austin would have been knocked out of the ring there before, it could have been, and it would have been. Austin out to the apron. Oh, Chris Bay lighting him up with a bunch of kicks here. Oh, and a big close line by Austin. Chris Bay go tumbling down the turnbuckle. Fulton's calling for it. Could it be time for the fold? No. Oh, no. Goes for it. Whoa. Into the void. Can we talk about what incredible strength it takes to catch a human being out of midair, stop them, switch their momentum, and drive them to the mat? New Orleans saying his name, watch this. Austin wanted the fold, and instead, it was into the void. Jake something far and away, the largest man in this match, walks away with a great opportunity against the X Division champion. The power made the difference. In tonight's matchup, congratulations to Jake something, our new number one contender to the X Division title. New Orleans, how was that for a beginning for uh -oh. the surrender? <laughs> Thank you all for joining us here on Impact Plus and Fight TV. Alongside the Drama King, Matthew Raywald, I'm Tom Hannafin. I do want to let you know, if you're watching on Fight TV, that you can check out the stars of Gaw TV. That's the Grown Ass Women podcast, because they're providing alternative commentary throughout the event tonight, in case you get sick of listening to myself and, and Matthew. Oh, both, him. Probably him. So if you want, you can check out exclusively on Fight TV, access to alternative commentary with SoCal Val, Tracy Brooks, and the legend Lisa Marie. Again, only on Fight TV. But let's talk about what's to come here at No Surrender. There is a big matchup, especially 
for the Digital Media Championship. We saw the depths that Matt Cardona will go to to win a championship. Well, what will he do to try and retain the Digital Media title against the former champ, Jordan Grace? And it is the champ, champ challenge as Deanna Perrazzo has an open challenge for either one of her titles, the AAA Reynas the Reynas Championship or the Ring of Honor Women's World Title. Meanwhile, which faction really runs things here in Impact Wrestling for the first time ever? It's Eric Young of Violet by Design against Jay White of the Bullet Club. And Mickey James defends her Knockouts World title against the winner of the first ever Knockouts Ultimate X match, Tasha Steeles. For the first time ever, we will see the Gorillas of Destiny against the Good Brothers. They collide for the Impact World Tag Team Championship. And it's all on the line as Honor No More takes on Team Impact, Eddie Edwards, Chris Saban, Rhino, Rich Swan, and Steve Macklin. If Honor No More wins, they get to officially stay here in Impact Wrestling. If they lose, they must leave. And finally, Moose must defend his Impact World title against W. Morrissey, who nearly had the title at Hard to Kill. Well, right now, one last message from Eric Young before his match with Jay White. Everything that I've got in this business, I've earned it. I've earned it the hard way, the old-fashioned way, the right way. I'm not political, never have been, never will be. I'm not a kiss ass. I'm not gonna wait outside of somebody's office to pitch them an idea that they don't wanna hear. I'm not an ex-football player, or some MMA guy that stumbled upon something in a way to make money when they're done. I'm not a mark. I'm not some skinny ass that got over on the internet. I'm a professional wrestler. The purest form. Everything I've got, I've earned it. And for the people that know, the people that truly know, people that have shared a locker room with me, people who've shared a ring with me, the people that know the truth. And the truth is, is I am the best all-round performer that this business has ever seen. And if you don't think that now, you will. When all said and done, I will be considered the best all-round professional wrestler this business has ever seen. But in the end, in the end, Jay, you have two things. You have your word, and you have your reputation. Now, I love to give my word. And I love my reputation. And when you love something, truly love something, you're willing to die for it. So later tonight, Jay, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out how willing you are. We're gonna find out about your work. We're gonna find out the lengths you're willing to go to to defend your reputation. What are you willing to do? Mind games are real. Leader versus leader later tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Black Forest, South Australia, the top dog, Judah! And right now it is time for Haas versus Haas. And what, look what is around the neck of Jonah. That is definitely a shot at Black Tarus. Absolutely is. Let's talk about mind games between Eric White, excuse me, Eric Young and Jay White. The mind games are at play here with Jonah. Jonah has been demolishing people ever since his submission loss to uh, former Impact Wrestling competitor Josh Alexander at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view last month. Jonah has demolished the likes of Jake Something, and we just saw congratulations to Something, who's got an X-Division title opportunity. He's also taken out Raj Singh, Johnny Swinger, and Crazy Steve. Oh. That drew the ire of Decay. His opponent, representing DK, accompanied to the ring by Crazy Steve Black Tarus. 
as I mentioned, it was in a recent match between Crazy Steve and Jonah that Jonah was victorious, but after the match, it looked like Jonah was going to try and do more, go after Crazy Steve when Steve was vulnerable. That is when Black Tarus and Rosemary got in between Jonah and Crazy Steve and led to this matchup. I mean, don't take anything wrong. Decay is a strange, twisted, odd little family, but they are a family, and they look out for their own, and that's what Black Tarus was doing. Earlier tonight on the countdown to No Surrender, it was Havoc who got things started for Decay, defeating Tennille Dashwood. Now Black Tarus looking to follow suit. Jonah is still finding his footing, I guess, so to speak. He's been successful, as I mentioned, the number of wins that he's racked up, no matter where he has gone, whether it be Impact or elsewhere. But still, when you cross to K, it's just something different. You know what I mean. I 100% know what you mean, but you talk about finding your footing. I don't know if you caught this, Tom, right as Black Tarus was making his entrance, that bull skull fell to the ground, and Jonah stomped it, smashing it. It's in pieces around the ringside, but that's not symbolism. If that's not finding your footing, I don't know what is. And Black Tarus, I, if I were to guess, uh, he's probably somewhere around 230, 240 pounds. Well, he's still giving up about 100 pounds <laughs> to Jonah. Well, but not ready to back down. No. Might be giving up a little weight, but he will not give up any inch in this ring. I've been in the ring with Black Tarus. I know how strong he is, but I also know how fast, how agile he is, just like that. Oh! Big right hand by oh Tarus. Wow! Knife edge chop. Some intensity here from Tarus. Right out the gate. Oh. <laughs> The top dog wants some more. Black to Roos. He is obliging. Oh. Kick right to the midsection, trying to double over Jonah. Here's that speed factor coming in from the large Luchador. Oh, out of midair. You know, I mentioned how strong oh. Black to Roos is. But I don't know if the power game trying to match Jonah strike for strike, pound for pound is going to be the good idea here. Use that lucha ability, use that speed and agility that he's got might be the answer. Oh, man, Jonah, look at how effortlessly able to pick up Peruse. Oh, into the post! Jonah going into the post! There it is, and now Peruse looking to fly over the top, and Peruse finally able to get Jonah off his feet. Crowd fired up here in New Orleans. What a victory this would be for Black Tarus for Decay as a whole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Through the ropes. Oh, oh, and again, Jonah is flattened. One's good, two is better. As Black Tarus, like I said, using the best thing to his advantage it is that five flying that agility that the Luchador is known for. Able to, get Jonah, there. able to get Jonah back inside the ring. Very recently on Impact Wrestling on Access TV, it was Crazy Steve who said his one-on-one -on -one matchup with Jonah was, quote, research. He's doing that on behalf of Decay. How sick and twisted is that? Hey, you take a bullet sometimes to figure out how much it hurts. And we know what kind of people, what kind of creatures Decay are. I'm not surprised, this, but oh my God. This is going to hurt. And oh. the top turnbuckle. Raw power from Jonah. You know how strong Jonah is, but do not take away the size of Black Tarus. This is huge! Oh my God! As I mentioned, Tarus has got to be about 230, 240 pounds. Jonah just launched him. He didn't just launch him. He catapulted him twice in a row in a matter of about 30 seconds. Remember what Jonah is all about. He believes in the idea of respect, that if I knock you down, you stay down and you show me respect. That's why he's trying to go after the people like Johnny Swinger and Crazy Steve. It's this work perspective he has. That's a very old school mentality in the world of pro wrestling. 
you beat the respect into your opponent. Uh, Jonas said it in his lead up to his matchup at Hard to Kill. It, it goes beyond pro wrestling. His father spent time in prison and experienced the top dog in jail basically do that to him. And top dog expected that his father stay down, not defy him in any way. That is something that Jonah has carried with him. That's why he believes he is the top dog wherever he goes. Permeates his entire oh, what a back elbow. His entire world is built around that idea. He brings that to the impact zone every single week. Little flurry there by Black Tarus was not enough, however. Something about Jonah, there's there's a calm about him, and then just he can flip a switch. Oh, and it just gets worse from there. I heard it said before, to paraphrase it, quote, oh, oh. it may not move fast. But that's because Jonah doesn't have to move for anybody, but it is Tarus putting up the fight. And right Tarus now. able to send Jonah into the opposite corner. Jonah's still on his feet, however. Oh, reverse sling blade, able to bring Jonah down, but he's right back up. Now the momentum is starting to build. How did he get him over? But he did. Tarus into the cover. Here the could crucifix be. bomb and a power out by Jonah. And that's not just a kick out. You saw the way Black Tarus flew through the air after Jonah pushed him off and then off the cover. A rumble here inside the Alario Center in New Orleans. Watch the combo oh. here. Oh. Oh, now Tarus doesn't see Jonah oh. coming. And that recovery time, Jonah's ability to just come explode. Oh. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. Oh, and now the top dog clearing his yard. The momentum shifts back and forth between both these wrestlers. I give all the credit in the world to Black Tarus here. Oh, now Jonah, oh, taking off his feet, goes face first into the middle turnbuckle. Whoa, and a big opportunity now for Tarus with the kick to the face. Going back to that agility, the high flying. Looking to maybe put things away all the way up top goes Black to Roos. Oh, he got him! Off the top! Is that enough to take out Jonah? The twisting senton and a kick out! But Tom, I mean, I don't know how he did get a two count. There's not a ton of people here in Impact Wrestling who could say they'd even got a two count on the top dog. Uh, you are absolutely right. And now looking to turn Jonah inside out. Maybe was thinking about Power Bull. Oh, and another headbutt. Doing that hard cranium. Oh, that mask included now is trying to hoist every bit of Jonah. And you have to imagine if Jonah comes crashing from this height, this could be over. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, and Tarus oh. dumped by Jonah. But look, Jonah stayed on the ropes there. He could be looking to fly himself. Oh, oh and a fence press out of the corner. And now Jonah trying to set up Black Tarus. Power bomb. Shoulders down. Kick out by Tarus. Tarus showing all the guts in the world. Oh, what a big clothesline. Just a clubbing blow. Oh, my God. Tarus is down, going to the top turnbuckle. So nice! Jonah takes out Black Tarus. Here is your winner, Jonah! Well, on this night, dog beats bulls. Let's go ahead, let's take a look at how this match ended. Jonah, all of it, boom, the tsunami crushing the sternum of Black Tarus. And that was it, one, two, three, the top dog stays on top. Jonah continues to rack up wins here in Impact Wrestling. For more
score on tonight's proceedings. Let's check in with our broadcast colleague, Gina Miller. Need to pull my chest every bar. Something no first of all, congratulations on becoming the new number one contender for the X Division Championship earlier tonight on No Surrender. But what I want to know now is, do you think you've got what it takes to defeat Trey Miguel and become the new X Division Champion? Gina, I just beat three of the X Division's finest. In the X Division, it's the best it's ever been. That means I'm the best I've ever been. Now, Trey, he's the standard of the X Division right now. And you're asking if I think I've got what it takes? I can't wait to find Let's out. Let's go! That is what I'm talking about. That performance, that was something. You are a star, Jake something. You are made of so much here in Impact Wrestling, but being made of what it takes to beat Trey Miguel? I can't bet on that. So we're gonna have to see, because I just have no intentions on losing this X Division Championship, baby, and I'm sorry. Oh, great plan. Yeah, of, of course you don't intend on losing it, right? But but that's fine, because Jake something here doesn't plan on winning it. <laughs> yeah, you can get lucky in a multi-man match. Anybody can get lucky in a multi-man match. But one-on-one, -on -one, you're a loser every single time. You know what, you know what? He's mad because you beat him tonight. Don't worry about him. Oh, wow, that, Trey. You must be really desperate to be making friends with him. Yeah, desperate for some friends. Might that be because your old friends dropped you like dead weight. Oh yeah, you got something you want to <laughs> say? How I about you say, say how about you quit with the subliminals Sorry. and the somatics? You know, I smell something. It smells like the possibility of a tag match next Thursday. What do you think about a that? Tag match. Yeah, okay. tag match. Fine. Tag match. Sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Never said no to a fight before. Let's do this. We have a problem. A big problem. Yeah, big. It's the Bullet Club, yeah. and they're here in our house. Yeah. Oh my oh god! Oh god! The Gorillas of Destiny! Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! It's the Switchblade! Jay White! Oh. Jay White takes out Bailey! King Switch is in the impact zone! The Bullet Club is here, and they are fully loaded. This is an explosive situation set to pop off at any time, I'll tell you that much. Bullet Club has stepped into the impact zone and made it their house. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute, wait a minute. Violent by design and the Good Brothers. It is a melee here inside the impact zone tonight. That ring and everything here, it does not belong to you. It belongs. Violent by Design is not Bullet Club because Eric Young is not Jay White. And at No Surrender, you can go one-on-one -on -one with me because it's still my era. This is not a fad. This is not a phase. This is not a club. This is a way of life, Jay White. And you're going to find out the hard way. Well, Tom, it is time. Leader versus leader. Two of the most traveled wrestlers in the world. They collide for the first time ever, and it happens right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing and accompanied by Violent by Design, here is Young! With Diener and Joe Doring at his back, Eric Young marches into battle to defend what he believes is his turf. The Impact Zone, Impact Wrestling as a whole. We could hear how vehement he was earlier on, and it appears Matthew that Eric that. Young is going to do this on his own. Well, you see the mask adorning the face of Eric Young. That devil mask, if that doesn't give you any kind of indication as to the way Eric Young views himself, then I don't know what does. That's the sick, twisted mind of Eric Young. That is the mind games he's willing to play, the control he has over everything that happens in this ring. This is a clash of styles at no surrender. Polar opposites meeting for the first time ever.
opponent, representing Bullet Club from Auckland, New Zealand, Jude White. Time to breathe with the switchblade. The US of J Tour is in full effect, Mr. Raywall. It has indeed. I've had a front row seat to much of the infamous US of J Tour. I've seen King Switch all across this country go on a tear. And he's grabbing the bag everywhere he goes. New Japan Pro Wrestling, AEW, and here in Impact Wrestling, Jay White is looking to claim one more piece of turf for the Bullet Club on such a momentous night for the club. And he could do it. He's got all the talent, all the skill, all the precision in the world to do just that. But man. You know how I feel about interlopers coming into Impact Wrestling as of late. I got all the respect for, in the world for the accomplishments of the Bullet Club, but you're gonna have to answer to someone like Eric Young, an Impact Wrestling staple, if you wanna get to anything, get anything done in this roster, in this locker room. Jay White, former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, IWGP Intercontinental Champion, one-time never open weight champion, former IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion, first ever New Japan Pro Wrestling Grand Slam Champion. And if you ask him, the man who single-handedly sold out Madison Square Garden. Eric Young could give a damn about all that. The mind game seemed to continue. We saw earlier some of those pre recorded promos. Just how intense Eric Young feels about Jay White. Shoulder tackle by White. Now Young pops White back up. As I mentioned, this is uh, two very different Ooh. types of wrestlers. Who do you get the edge to? You know, it's tough to say, but I got to go with the leader of violence by design, Eric Young. Oh. Such a tenured wrestler. He seems to keep getting better and better as time goes on. Eric Young, as we heard from him earlier on tonight, essentially saying that he's not here to play the games of politics that exist in the world of professional wrestling. He's here to write his own rules. That's why he created Violent by Design, stemming back to 2020 and officially the Hard to Kill pay per view 2021. He believes that Jay White is leading a club that he doesn't really have his fingerprints on. What do you say? I mean, look at that. He's not, look at the evidence. He's not wrong. Eric Young built Violent by Design from the very very bottom from the very brick by brick. Jay White seemingly slipped into a vacuum, a power vacuum that Bullet Club had. And not to mention a club that beats its leader out every six months seemingly. Eric Young has stayed in control of his own future, of his own group, of his own design. That body drop, and now Jay White is in control. The counter, to your point, Jay White's been at the helm of Bullet Club since 2018. Kenny Omega's separation, which Jay White takes responsibility for, has guided them for the better part of three years. Oh, more than that. Jay White admiring his handiwork. Uh, two very different personalities. You have an absolute maniac in Eric Young, and then Jay White, who loves this spotlight. Oh, yeah. You oh. give Jay, Jay White a chance, he will talk your ear off. He will tell you every single accomplishment he's had in every single country he's been in, every single person he's beat. Oh, shoulder first into the middle turnbuckle. But you know who he hasn't beat? Eric Young. Two-time Impact World Champion, six-time Tag Team Champion here in Impact, former X Division Champion as well. Very likely could be looking at an Impact Hall of Fame career when he decides oh, to hang him up. Undoubtedly, that is not even a question at this oh, point. And look at this. Look at the power of Eric Young hoisting light off his feet. Shades of a hangman's noose there from EY. And look at the step, that madman look in his eye. You said it earlier, Tom. There's, there's more than one screw loose in the mind of Eric Young. Oh, and now White able to drop Eric Young, middle of the ring. Planted. Just like that, and that momentum shifts. That's what Jay White does so well. Now Jay White rushes in with an uppercut. 
The twisting suplex. The, the cover. Cover and a kick out. That speed, that ingenuity from Jay White. He is hungry. He wants to he wants to light the pro wrestling world on fire everywhere he goes. And you know what? He's done it. Was trying to set him up for the blade runner there. Easier said than done. Eric Young able to maneuver his legs to get in position to avoid it. Oh. Very smart by Young. White's got to go back to work. Oh. You talk about a clash of styles. That might be true from a personality standpoint. 100%. They couldn't be more different. But let's not overlook the fact. They're using the bulk of the five count here in the corner is Jay White. Let's not forget how much these both both these men have been through traveled wrestlers all over the world. Both of them. Right now Jay White trying to set up Eric Young one more time center of the ring. And Young able to turn it around in his favor and Jay White is down. Eric Young's got an opening. And much like Jay White before him, it is Eric Young who switches the momentum just like that. Oh, and a big elbow there by Eric Young. Ooh. Oh, and a discus clothesline. This is where Eric Young's gonna take his power advantage and push it. There it is! High on the neck, off the driver, and a kick out by Jay White. The mania of Eric Young, let's take a look at that one more time. Take a look, high impact, off the shoulder, boom! boom. Planting Jay, Jay White in the middle of the ring, but Jay stays alive. Uh, center of the ring, maybe EY is trying to end it here against Jay White. Jay White saw it coming, just like Eric Young saw the Blade Runner coming. And take a look at this, no surrender, hashtag no surrender trending right now, 13th in the United States on social media. No surrender, causing waves everywhere as these two titans of the industry, these two journeymen, yeah. face it for the first right time here. ever oh. right in front of us. Ooh. And this is something Jay White's very familiar with. Happens a lot in Japan, just that, that test of fortitude. Chops, strikes back and forth to see which competitor will give first. Ooh. Oh, look at these chops, center of the ring, and now Young and White back and forth. And it is Eric Young getting the better of this exchange. Seemingly much to the chagrin of the New Orleans crowd here. Young center to the corner. Oh, able to land on his feet finally. Oh, shot right to the midsection by White. Young on the move, going to the top turnbuckle. Ooh. Jay White has seen this in the playbook of Eric Young many times over the years. Jay White is nothing if not a cerebral competitor. And you have to imagine he studied Eric Young. He studied everything about him. Eric Young, who debuted in Impact. Oh, 18 years ago now, he's biting Jay White, the official showing some leniency here. You might be able to predict every maneuver, every wrestling move in the book, but you can't predict that. Elbow drop to the switchblade, hook to the inside leg, and a kick out by Jay White. Take a look at it again. Huge elbow drop from Eric Young. Look to put White away, but Jay gets that shoulder up just in time. Back to live action. Eric Young once again trying to set up Jay White to finish this match off. Jay White saw it coming. Now trying to catch him. In the middle of the ring. Covered by White. King switch. Can't end it. This match so far has seemingly been so evenly matched. Again, for two opponents who had never faced each other before, such different personalities. It has been just about 50-50, oh, yeah. and he could be looking, yep. Going for the half and half suplex, speaking of 50-50, and right now Eric Young is trying to get his way out of this. Fight, fight for his survival. This match oh, Saido suplex. Beautiful. That snap, that speed. 
that Jay White is so known for. Plenty of Bullet Club fans in attendance tonight at no surrender. White going out to meet Young along the apron. Dangerous territory. Oh, almost looking at that half and oh, half right here on the apron. No way. Young luckily fighting it off. Oh, wow, that was nasty. It looked like Young went face first into the apron, got twisted up there along the bottom rope. Jay White looking for that almost like flatliner on the apron, and yeah, there was Young getting caught in all of it. White rolls back in, he breaks the count, that'll reset the referee's count at 10. Now both men still fighting over this apron territory, looking maybe for a German suplex this time. Eric Young still fighting him off. There's still a lot of fight left in the leader of Violent by Design. Oh my God, for the shoulders, to the eyes, to the eyes. Young was biting White, now White's going after Young's eyes. Turnabout's fair play. Hey, I guess, tit for tat, this for that, and oh, there you go again. More so. I'll try to send him up there on the apron. The, the referee. Oh, oh my God! The referee was admonishing both men, trying to get them back inside the ring, and begun his count to ten. And now both men are down. On just like that, talk a look, take a look at this. Boom. Boom. Both men now on the ground. Count of three, count of four now from Brian Hebner. White and Young down outside the ring. What a first time ever singles match up here at No Surrender. We are back. Count of seven. They got to get this one back. Count of eight. Ring. Count of eight. Young trying to get White back up to his feet. Count of nine. Count of nine. The official checking on White gives Young time to slide in. Here's Go. the cover. Hook to the leg. Jay White is still on the match. Eric Young can't quite believe it. And now calls for it. Could be looking to close this once and for all. He wants to silence Jay White, but Jay White turns it around. Cover by White and a kick out. That was two and three quarters. 2.999. And here we go. Oh, right now with the Young. Young to cover. Oh, on the ropes even. And a kick out by was positioning, he didn't see Young's feet on the ropes, yet White kicked out. That's right, despite the foot on the rope, it is Jay White, uh -oh. could be looking for that blade runner. Again, back to the midsection, Jay White trying to flail his legs back, trying to prevent it, trying to move his body weight, thought about the half and half suplex, he's gonna get it, no, he's got it! And if you've seen a Jay White match, you know what that half and half suplex goes to set up, could be looking for that blade runner. Blade runner, middle of the ring, tucks the arm, cover, White beats Young. Here is your winner, Switchblade, Jay White. What an incredible match, the first time ever. We've said it a dozen times, but it lived up to everybody's expectations and then some. But it is King Switch, the Switchblade himself, Jay White, who stands tall. Take a look back here at the conclusion of this matchup, the power of Jay White. Oh, gets all of the Blade Runner, keeps Young away from the ropes, and is able to win the matchup. This first time ever bout between Jay White and Eric Young. It goes to Jay White. Another first time ever matchup still to come tonight for Bullet Club. G.O.D. versus the Good Brothers for the Impact World Tag Team titles. Hey, Speedball. Look, man, I wanted, to, I wanted to make sure I caught you before you left. I got something I need to ask you. This Thursday, Trey Miguel, Jake something, they challenged me to a tag team match, all right? And I want you to be my tag team partner for that. Ace, I appreciate your friendship, but I'm not looking to be in a tag team right now. Listen, when I got here, I wasn't looking to be in a tag team either, right? But it's important to have the right type of people watching your back. As I've said, the right type of friends are important in a place like this, okay? Listen, you and Fulton have a great dynamic. I'm not looking to get in the way. In the way? No, this isn't about me. This isn't about Fulton. 
Him and I understand that. This is about you. Look, I didn't want to get into this, okay? But earlier when I spoke to Trey and Jake, and the cameras went off, I overheard them saying some things that I would rather not repeat. But it's very clear that they don't respect you. And I want to make sure that you have the, the right opportunity to show them that you deserve respect. Because you do. I believe that. And tonight we stood across the ring from each other and we both lost. I, I think we gotta give this a try. Just a try. What do you say? Okay. Yeah? I appreciate you looking up. Let's do it. All right, Thursday night, me and you. Let's go. Listen, it's hard to know if Ace Austin, what he just said was true, but if his lips are moving, he's probably lying. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you save that thought, Tom. Save that thought. Get on your feet. Arise. Pay your respects to the one, the only, the virtuoso. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Champ Champ Challenge, scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Hackettstown, New Jersey. She is the Ring of Honor and Triple A Reina de Reina's champion, the virtuosa Diana Pruvazzo. Everybody on your feet. What would you do if, if, if the President of the United States entered the room? You know, what would you do if the Queen of England stood up and entered the room? Is this what you would do? Would you sit on your tuppet? No, you'd get up and show the proper respect due to the single greatest professional wrestler on the face of planet Earth and she stands before you. So this is in fact an open challenge for any competitor to go after either of Deanna Perazzo's championships. So which title is it gonna be? And who's gonna take the challenge? Let's who's gonna out. answer the champ champ We're challenge? find out here. Could be anyone. Very, very cool. You never know who's gonna answer the challenge. Her opponent from Houston, Texas, the Lucha Batty, Miranda Alize. This is something that, especially in regards to the world of Ring of Honor, which we have gotten accustomed to in some good ways and some bad ways here at Impact Wrestling, you might be familiar with Miranda Alize because my memory serves me right. She got to the finals of the Ring of Honor Women's World Title Tournament against the first ever champion, Roxy. Yes, she did. She's been making waves She's in, in this business about eight or nine years, from what I understand, trained in Mexico. But this is my first time getting to see her live and in person. I don't know about you, so I'm very excited to see. But. I'm very intimidated for her because she's got to face Deanna Barraza. So now the question, which championship is it going to be? I have my feeling. Let's see. And there it is. Alizé wants an opportunity at the Ring of Honor Women's World Title. It makes sense. Trying to accomplish something that she came oh so close to. I thought you were going to gloat that Roxy lost the title to your meal ticket to Deanna Barraza. Look, I can get my own meals. I've Kevin got, Tung. I have got. You forgot food here on the way to the building. You told me how hungry we were this afternoon. I can take care of myself. No, 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 no. You ate a sandwich out of a box, like hey, a plebeian. This is pro wrestling, Tom, and we're gonna see just what pro wrestling is all about because Deanna Barraza was in the ring and she's about to put on a clinic. So the champ champ challenge is underway. You can see hashtag no surrender is trending worldwide. Number 12 overall worldwide. In fact, thank you to all the fans out there watching. No, 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 no. kick out. Thank you to Deanna Barraza. The moment she walked we out, we moved up. We move up in the worldwide. We'll be number five by the time this match is over. I can almost guarantee you. This is for the Ring of Honor Women's World Title. Alizé challenging Deanna Perrazzo here. Gigantic Whoa. opportunity for Alizé, considering we're streaming live on Impact Plus and Fight TV at No Surrender cover. Shoulders down, and Perrazzo a little trouble here early. Shoulders down. This is a huge opportunity for any wrestler. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're singing about the Miranda rights, the cross-face submission early on. Thinking about it. Keyword thinking about it, but Deanna Perrazzo denying it. Can, can we talk for a second about the, the generosity of spirit? You can talk about it. Deanna Perrazzo. I mean, she's allowing anybody to have such an amazing opportunity. Oh, side of the face with a drop kick. 
I don't think Alizé cares about that at all. It's about accomplishing something she came very close to back in the fall. Well, she should care about it, because without that open opportunity of the Champ Champ Challenge, she wouldn't be here right now. Oh! Great takedown there. Alizé is... <laughs> right now, she's putting Barraza through the spin cycle. Hey, I know impressive when I see it. It's so far so good. That oh. Libre training coming out here. Barraza taking off her feet. Out of the ring. Alice for the ropes. Remember, it's a championship match. The title can only change hands via pinfall or submission inside the ring. The title would remain with Perazzo in the event of a countout or disqualification. All the high flying maneuvers in the world. Inside the ring for the championship and a kick out. They're, they're impressive. You're going to make the, clap, the crowd clap. You're going to make them cheer. But you got to get it done inside those ropes. And inside those ropes, Deanna Perrazzo is the best. Oh, what a pump kick by Perrazzo. Oh, right to the face. Reminding you, this is her ring. This is her company. This is her era. Elbow right to the back of the neck, and, and I will give credit to Deanna Perrazzo, the amount of Finally. media and representation she does on the part of this company, visiting Barstool Sports headquarters in New York City. She waves the flag. Here's the cover and a kick out, but at the same time, there are wrestlers who come from Ring of Honor in the past, like Miranda Alizé, who are envious that that title, while the company is on hiatus, is in the hands of an Impact Wrestling competitor. Which it blows my mind, because why, why would you feel jealous? Why would you feel angry that your championship is in the hands of someone so capable of carrying it with honor? I thought we were going to go surfing there for a minute. This is even worse. Oh, my. Bent backwards, almost breaking Miranda Alizé in half. Alizé trying to find her way free here in this champ, champ challenge match. Now for the Ring of Honor women's world title kick right to the right arm. He's right to the spine by Perrazzo. This is some of the nastiness that the virtuosa is capable of. Capable of delivering it in spades. Oh, wait a minute. Now trying to go for a cover here on Perrazzo, trying to surprise the double champ. Now the same. to move. Went for the head scissors takedown. Thought about the Miranda rights. Now the cover. Shoulders down. And Perrazzo able to kick out. Oh. And all the momentum in the world doesn't mean a whole lot when you get caught with a boot to the face. Perrazzo able to crumple Alizé. Oh, oh, God. You love to hear it. You love to see it. Whipped into the corner by the double champ. Able to roll away. Perrazzo sending Alizé outside the ropes. Oh, and Alizé. Responds with a big right hand there, shoulder right to the midsection. Starting to meet some of Deanna's oh. physicality of her own right there. Good on Miranda Alizé. I'll give her all the credit in the world. She's putting up a hell of a fight. Bit of a spike Rana there through the ropes. Both women are down right now. Gigantic opportunity for Miranda Alizé here live at no, at no Surrender. Gonna have to put up a little bit more of a fight than that, though, to put down the queen, the virtuosa. Ooh. Now the slugfest down here on the mat. Oh. Now look at Alize trying to battle back here in this matchup at No Surrender. Look at the right hands here to Tiana Perrazzo. Fired up. Champion getting a little bit more than I think she expected. Oh, oh, oh. Rushes in. Who got more than what they expected? Oh my God. Oh, Alizé returns fire. Both wrestlers trying to get the better of the other. Oh. We've gone from wrestling to a throwdown fight here. And now Alizé with another forearm shiver in the corner. Able to drop down Peraza. Now look for oh, oh. right to the face of the champ champ. That could this be the end of, could be. of Perrazzo's oh. Ring of Honor no, 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 Women's no, no, World no. Title reign and a kick out? <laughs> Said it before, I'll say it again. It's going to take more than that to keep Deanna Perrazzo down. See, just like that. Oh. Goes after the left arm. 
And that arm bar put a lot of people away with that beautiful. Great job. Turns Alize inside out to put away the challenger kick out by Alize. Gorgeous suplex right there. Almost putting Alize down. Twice a double champion, twice an Impact Knockouts World Champion. And this could be the end now. Perazzo trying to put away Alize. with a rip Once again, Oh, hold on. We'll looking for it. The Miranda rights, the cross face. It's in there. Come on, Deanna. Deanna Perrazzo able to throw this into a pinning opportunity. Alizé kicks out. So smart by the Virtuoso. Oh, God. Metal of the ring. Perrazzo is down. Alizé. She thinks it's over. I don't like this. I don't oh, like it. There the you go. Wizard, one there of the you shiny go. wizard, and then right on the arm. There's the arm. Are you time to break in half? Time to show them who you are, Deanna. This is why you're the champ, champ. And there it is. And there it is. Foul by Alize. Your winner and still champion, the virtuosa Deanna Perazzo. Put up a fantastic fight here in the champ champ challenge, but Deanna Perrazzo just able to turn it into high gear and end this. Credit where credit is due. Miranda Elize put up a hell of a fight, but it takes a lot more than that to end the era of the virtuosa, the champ champ herself. Meanwhile, one of Deanna's greatest rivals, the Impact Knockouts World Champion, Mickey James, will be defending her title later on tonight against Tasha Steeles. However, it was last night, Mickey James had a little fun here in New Orleans with her good friends, the band Chapel Heart. I'm here with Chapel Heart, who sang the national anthem tonight beautifully, might I add. We're so excited to have you here tonight. How does it feel to be here? It feels absolutely amazing to be here tonight. We're super excited. You know, we had to come out and support our girl, Mickey, tonight. Yeah. You know, we had to come see her. It's like, yeah, girl. Girl. Chapel Heart in the house. Oh I just want to say, y'all killed it. Thank killed you. it. I mean, one grown ass woman to another, just because yeah, not no, that we yeah, did yeah, it. We just had to put a little lighter fluid on there before you go and set the ring all the way on fire, girl. Oh, yes. Mm. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I am I am so excited for tonight. I want to say good luck, but I, I feel like you don't need it. Thanks. So. Well, luck is for losers. But hey, you know, I know that our match got kind of thrown out or whatever, but I just want you to know that after I'm done with Tasha, obviously, that's in front of me right now, I got you next. I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. And guess what? After this, we're going out. Drinks on us. Hey! So I realized in 2022, I had to do things a little bit different. The Digital Media World Championship. And I knew I had to have it. Matt, I've always said I'm a fighting champion. Of course I'll wrestle you. Oh my God! What the hell is wrong with you, Cardona? I did what I had to do. Jordan Grace was my toughest opponent ever. Jordan, I know surrender. I know you have a rematch. Please be ready. Please be ready. Because I am always ready. Matt, I made the mistake of thinking that you were a fair man. And I'm not going to make that same mistake twice. As the first ever digital media champion, that belt means a lot to me. And it was stolen from me. So if you surrender, I'm going to take it back. We have seen what Matt Cardona is willing to do to win a championship. What is he prepared to do against a vengeful former champion in Jordan Grace? The digital media title is on the line now. The next match at No Surrender is for the Digital Media Championship. 
except for one fall, introducing first the challenger from Austin, Texas, Judy Grace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did, did David Penzer know what he's talking about? We all know that this is the digital media world championship, uh, as Matt Cardona has let us know, and he is correct. That's just Matt Cardona creating something that he couldn't accomplish. Let's be very honest. It's hard to kill. He didn't win the Impact World Championship. So wow. he went out. He bent the rules. Some would say he cheated, obviously, against Jordan Grace. And then he dubbed it the digital media world title, which it is some, not. Some would say. opponent from Long Island, New York. He is the digital media champion, always ready, Matt Cardona. Listen, you can understand Matt Cardona's frustration. You and I saw it firsthand four years before he even came to Impact Wrestling. Come on. Hey, you got the attitude? Because here's the thing, being the good guy, doing what you're told, being the quote-unquote perfect citizen for years that you and I saw, didn't get Matt Cardona anything. And he's finally realizing that. He's finally embracing that. And you see it in the gesture he shows, let's put it that way, to the crowd here. He doesn't need them. He's all about himself. In the lead up to the hard to kill event, it was Matt Cardona saying the one thing I have not done in this business is become a world champion. He said he's why he came to Impact Wrestling. He came up short. Frankly, he was pinned in the triple threat match involving Moose Morrissey and himself at Hard to Kill. So frankly, the way that the match played out, Cardona does have to point some fingers at himself. Crazy things I understand happen in a triple threat match. But for him to stoop to the level that he involved a chair in the digital media championship match he had with Jordan Grace, that's not the Matt Cardona you and I have gotten to know. It may be the Matt Cardona that people elsewhere in the pro wrestling world have gotten accustomed to, but that's not been the case here in Impact Wrestling. No, this is the Matt Cardona that's successful. The new version. And who better to represent the Digital Media <coughs> World Championship than Matt Cardona, the king of digital media, the king of the internet, the man who, quite frankly, basically introduced the internet to the archaic world of pro wrestling. I'm not going to argue with you on that point, but I mean, listen, we, you and I called the match, right? The first one between Cardona and Grace. And you and I were talking about, oh, the trepidation that, that Matt Cardona's got to be feeling because it's, it was first ever intergender match. He never wrestled one-on-one -on -one against a woman. And for a moment, it did seem like that was the case. Now he's coming out here and he's rubbing it in Jordan Grace's face. Maybe that was legit. Maybe it was a ploy and a plan. Maybe it was this. Maybe it was that. You know what it was? It was successful. And that is all that matters at the end of the day between those ropes. So right now, uh, for those of you watching at home on Impact Plus and Fight TV, do not adjust your TV sets. We're having some technical difficulties. And we're back here inside the Alario Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. Let's live go. television. I love professional wrestling. to what you were looking for. Oh, oh here comes Jordan yeah. Grace! A man extends the hand in peace and sportsmanship, sportspersonship, whatever you want to call it. And look at Jordan Grace. Whoa. Hold on a second, trying to reclaim her title early to a kick out. Matt Cardona, he just kind of ticked off Jordan Grace. Whoa. Not a good idea. Oh, back elbow. This one started off fast and furious. But he wishes he was back in Paris at freaking Disneyland. Ooh, don't we all? It's a beautiful park. Oh, God. Ah, now Jordan Grace. Plenty of emotion Got coming into here. this matchup. Trim and spine first into the turnbuckle, but won't let go. I will say the tenacity, the strength of Jordan Grace, we all know it very, very well. This is a bad situation for Matt Cardona. Jordan Grace, she was champion for 103 days, the first ever digital media champion, Whoa. winning the title at Battle for Glory in October. There's an argument. Oh, look at the 
power of grace. Scrambles into the cover for the title and a kick out by Cardona, who rolls out. You will have zero arguments for me that pound for pound, Jordan Grace is the strongest athlete in Impact Wrestling. She proved it right there. I will never dispute that. Is Cardona taking a walk? A breather time. It's called a breather. It, it looks like he's walking away from his own he's championship He's got 10 match. seconds. Let the man breathe. And Grace is Come not going to let Cardona escape. And now Grace bringing Cardona back to the ring the hard way. He was taking his allotted 10 count to get his wherewithal about him, to get his head about him. Grace climbs back into the ring. Both competitors beating the 10 count by a landslide. Oh, wait a, minute, wait a minute, and Cardona putting Brian Hebner between he and Grace, what? and that gives Cardona the edge. What was Brian Hebner doing? He knows there's a match going on. You can't just stand in the competitor's way. They're trying to wrestle each other. So What's you're going to go after the official as opposed to the actions of Matt Cardona. The actions of Matt Cardona trying to catch a breath, the actions of Matt Cardona trying to have a respectful matchup to start this all off. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just going with the facts here. And Brian Hebner's furious right now. He understands the game that Cardona's playing. Look at that smirk on Always Ready's face. Should be furious at himself. And now Matt Cardona oh. firmly in control. The digital media world champion. Oh, and again, corner to corner now. Feeling very proud of himself. Representing that championship with quick pride. Oh, and now Grace. Ooh. New Orleans behind oh. Jordan Grace, and this time intentionally a suplex into the corner by Cardona. We saw that in their first matchup. You and I held our collective breath. I'm not doing that here. No, it's great I'm not strategy. Falling for it. Great strategy. The ropes, the corners, they're very difficult parts of the ring when you get tied up in there. Matt Cardona knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, Grace able to get out of the fireman's carry position. Oh, it's behind her. Oh, come on. I'm the champion! I'm the champion! Cardona stayed fast. Boot right to the face by Grace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back to it again. There's a cover. Cover. Oh, Jordan Grace off the rebound. That sliding lariat by Jordan Grace. Almost taking the head off. Oh, the digital media world champ. Oh, an open palm strikes to Matt Cardona. Cardona. Oh, hit with a spine buster. We're thinking about radio silence. Grace nearly won the title. Think about the emotion for Jordan Grace. Not only did she lose the title in the fashion that played out with Cardona, but it was after the fact Matt Cardona called Grace and her husband, Jonathan Gresham, losers. Take a look at one more time. This huge spine buster from Jordan Grace almost putting Matt Cardona away. She's got a lot of fight left in her. Of course, she's got a lot of pride tied up in that championship. Double knees. Drop kick from the top by Cardona. Picture perfect from the champ himself. And now going for the reboot. Last time out, he hesitated. None this time. Of Matt Cardona. And That's the intensity Grace of the camp. Grace is out. Here's the cover. Jordan Grace able to kick out. I thought Jordan Grace was out. So did Matt Cardona. He can't believe it. Quite frankly, neither can I. He's got to put this away now. He could be looking for that radio silence. No! Oh! Into the top turnbuckle, face first, and out Jordan Grace. Hammering away. Ooh, Double man, Jordan Grace build up the momentum. It's a dangerous Double. place to be. Elbow right to the jaw. 
The champion rolls outside the ring. Champions advantage to Cardona. Title can only change hands for the pinfall or submission in the ring. Grace has got to go after him. Follow up. Oh, the steel chair, but it backfires on Cardona. Come on. Jordan Grace just used a foreign object against the champion. How can this be allowed? Grace did not initiate the contact. That's why the match continues. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. She may initiate some contact. I was say, she may not have there, Listen, but she Gordon, looks like she's got some intentions Listen, right Jordan, now. Jordan's got to get her emotions about her. I agree. Jordan's got to calm down here. Jordan's got to calm down, not the steel chair. Hebner taking the chair and it his hands. There That's you go. Cover. Shoulders down. Cardona nearly had it. Now Cardona, I'm going to drop Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace nearly let her emotions get the best of her. Lost sight of the championship for a moment, wanted to retaliate. And is that the type of person you want representing your digital media world championship? It's someone, Cardona? Someone who would do that after already using that chair to harm the head and face of Matt Cardona? Come on. So what do you think of you, Tom? Hey, come on, intimidating a referee? Mind games. for a disqualification, the low blow by Grace. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Grace has been disqualified, the winner and still digital media championship by disqualification, Matt Cardona. Well, it's the correct call. It is. She broke the rules, no, come on. Show some respect, show some restraint, Jordan. Now she's gonna break Cardona's back. Steel oh. chair. Matt Cardona literally just tried to defend himself from Jordan Grace, broke the rules, used a chair against our champion. Disgraceful. Matt Cardona was able to manipulate the situation. He made Jordan Grace emotional and was able to walk out with his digital media championship. And speaking of title matches tonight, still to come, the Impact Knockouts World Championship will be defended as Mickey James defends against the number one contender, the winner of the first ever Knockouts Ultimate X match, Tasha Steeles, who's standing by. World Championship, and I know you have to be feeling confident after scoring a pinfall over her this past Thursday on Impact. Confident, confident, Gia, I've been confident. Confident is my middle name. No, see, what I did Thursday night, this past Thursday night, it's just a small preview of what I'm going to do tonight, because Mickey, oh, Mickey, tonight is the last night that you call yourself the Knockouts World Champion. And I see you got your, your homegirls, Chapel Heart here, and you got Chelsea cheering your own tonight, but it ain't gonna be nothing when Tasha Steeles beat that ass and become the Knockouts World Champion. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Help! Someone! Someone help! Hey, help! Someone! We need some help! Help, please! Hey! Who is this? The Gorillas of Destiny! Tama Tonga and Tonga Lord, the GOT on an Impact Wrestling! You already know what we're here, huh? We're taking the Impact World Tag Title! We have a problem. A big problem. Yeah, big one. It's the Bullet Club, yeah. and they're here in our house. Yeah. And you heard what GOD had to say. They're coming for our Impact World Tag Team Championships. Yo! Seven-time IWGP Tag Team Champions are here. Do you realize who we are? We have dominated 
every professional wrestling company with letters that matter. No, no, you've been everywhere because you've been fired from everywhere. There is one place you haven't been fired from. And if you are truly OGs, you know the code. Bullet Club have stepped into the impact zone and made it their house. The Bullet Club is something that we created. And now, it's time for us to kill it. Bullet Club thought they could come in here and call their shot for the first time ever. Gallows and Anderson against the Gorillas of Destiny. All for the Impact World Tag Team titles. And are you ready, Tom? First time ever, Impact Tag Team Championships are on the line, baby. G.O.D. versus the Good Brothers. I'm ready, let's go. for the Impact World Tag Team Championship set for one fall. Introducing first the challengers representing Bullet Club. Tama Tonga, Tonga Lua, Gorillas of Destiny. If you cannot have peace, aim between the eyes. That is the mentality of Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa tonight. This is unfinished Bullet Club business at no surrender. Unfinished business, but also time. Uncharted territory. Despite all the history that exists between the Good Brothers and Bullet Club, this matchup worldwide has never, ever happened. That blows my mind just to think about it. I know it blows a lot of the fans' minds, but it happens tonight. It happens right now. For G.O.D., this is about the excommunication that Gallows and Anderson never received properly from Bullet Club. The Your opponents from Tokyo, Japan, the big LG Doc Gallows, Machine Gun Carl Anderson, they are the Impact World Tag Team Champions. They are the Good Brothers. The old adage from the club is that it's for life, and they mean it, because no one gets to just leave Bullet Club. Well, that's exactly what Gallows and Anderson did. You and I saw it firsthand. Some would say they sold out. They went to make money, heaps of it. Now they're here in Impact Wrestling, two-time Impact World Tag Team Champions. Their current reign now at 217 days. They have put the Bullet Club in their past. Gallows and Anderson believe they stand alone, and they think G.O.D. have been riding their coattails like many others that have joined the club over the years. And who can quite blame them? I mean, you talk about it like they didn't, as if they disrespected the tradition. Yeah, we all know the history of the Bullet Club. It's for life, and if you're out, I don't think I'm mincing words here when I say you get beaten out. You make sure that respect is paid, so I understand the idea. But if you can outsmart the system, why not? And that's exactly what Gallows and Anderson did. Yeah, get that bag, man. Get that bag, you take care of you. This business don't take care of you. You do have to acknowledge the hypocrisy of Gallows and Anderson because you and I saw it firsthand. The bastardized versions of Bullet Club that existed elsewhere that were attempted to be created by Gallows and Anderson. That's what Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa take exception to, is trying to take something that Tama and Carl especially were a part of from the beginning. That people like Gallows and Tonga Loa got to be a part of as time went on. And you but see it right there. You see it right there, the tension, especially between Carl Anderson and Tama Tonga. This goes way back. Two of the OG members of this group that has spanned over decades. Back in 2013, as a matter of fact, the origins of the Bullet Club, the likes of Prince Devitt, Bad Luck, Fale, Carl Anderson, and Tama Tonga, they got things started, things rolled from there. 
but it's looking specifically at the situation between Anderson and Tamatonga. These two were like brothers at one point. And here we go, Carla Anderson right up to Tamatonga. And who fights harder than two brothers? I'll tell you, nobody. Oh, back elbow by Tamatonga right out of the gate. For the first time ever, G.O.D. versus the Good Brothers for the Impact World Tag Team titles. And we are here for it live and in person, and I couldn't be happier to see it. You look at right out of the gate. That hothead, Tamatonga, he's known for that temper, Tom. That's something Carl Anderson was known over the years for trying to quell. It keeps someone like Tamatonga in check. And this is the early storm here from Tamatonga is all over Carl Anderson. He's gonna have to keep some of that rage in check. I know there's some bad blood here, but if he wants to put the good brothers down. Count of four, has to get out of the corner. Tonga Loa went after Gallows to try and get the referee's attention. It worked for a, a moment there. The referee showing some lenience here, leniency here, Ooh. considering the gravity of this match. Tamatonga is on fire. And now look at G.O.D. Two on one opportunity here against Carl Anderson. And big Doc Gallows gets into the fray. And this is broken down in almost gangland warfare right now, right before our very eyes. Gallows right next to our announce desk. A headbutt to Tonga Loa. Ooh. We want Anderson tied up with Tamatonga. This is broken down furious. This is broken down oh. fast. Right in front of the ring announcer's table. Are the official trying to get control of this matchup? The two legal competitors are Anderson and Tamatanga. And the Impact Tag Team Championships are on the line, but there is so much more. Oh. <laughs> and look at Anderson and Tamatanga. It's a big brother, little brother complex between these two, I guarantee it. The emotional, the erratic at times, Tamatanga, Carl Anderson, no longer his keeper. That's right. With the younger brethren, the younger sibling, as it were, you gotta learn to stand on your own. Oh, close line by Tamatanga. There's so much history and a lot of good blood. That's the thing, we talk about bad blood all the time in this sport, especially when there's so many feelings involved between two people, in this case, four people, and even more if you include everyone in the Bullet Club. But there's so much on the line, including the Impact Tag Team Championships. The Impact World Tag Team title first introduced 15 years ago. Oh, awarded to the Hall of Famers, Team 3D. Here's the cover by Tongaloa for the titles and a kick out and the roots of G.O.D. come from Team 3D. Teams like that pave the way for teams like the two you see in front of you on your screen right now. Imagine how Tonga Loa feels, considering all the stuff that we just talked about between Anderson and Tama Tonga. Anderson going after the eyes of Tama's literal brother and now makes a tag to Doc Gallows. Tonga Loa, like any brother, would want to stick up for Tama Tonga. Well, of course, you got to stick up for family, but that this Bullet Club, especially the OG members, supposed to be a family, and that just lit Tonga Loa up. The 300 plus pounder, Doc Gallows, traveled all over the world with Carl Anderson. Bought more houses and cars than he can remember. Believes people like Tongaloa have just benefited from the hard work that he and Anderson have done over the years. Bang! Clothesline into the corner. And now oh. it's time to test if those two can stand on their own. And so far, Tongaloa. Proven that he is more than capable, but there. Oh, ripping out the face of Tonga Loa's Gallows. Now backing into the corner, tag made by Tama Tonga. Record seven time IWGP Tag Team Champions are GOD. That house of fire, Tama Tonga uh -oh. in here. Uh oh, caught. Caught by Gallows. And now Gallows. Great power from the big LG. And that brings this match to a grinding halt. You talk about the seven IWGP Tag Team Championship reigns of the G.O.D., the Gorillas of Destiny. 
Oh, but Gallows and Anderson have held tag team championships all over the world. Every company they step in and out of, they come away with gold. Seven total world championships for the Good Brothers. Boom, right under the jaw of Tama Tonga. And listen, I understand G.O.D. They came into this match looking to give the, uh, the Good Brothers the ass-kicking that they never got when they left for America. Well, this seems to be going the wrong way for the Gorillas of Destiny. Firmly in the corner of the Good Brothers. Showing these b -b 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 boys what real championship material is all about, especially in the Impact Wrestling landscape. They know this territory, as it were. They know this locker room better than Bullet Club does. This is Gallows and Anderson's territory. Thomas Hawk trying to get back up to his feet, driven down the neck right into the canvas. And Gallows really applying the pressure now. Right back to that rear chin lock. Continuing to grind down Tama Tonga. What a first time ever matchup, adding to the brilliant legacy of the Impact World Tag Team titles. Great teams like LAX, Beer Money, the Motor City Machine Guns, the Wolves, Decay, OVE, the North, the Good Brothers, and G.O.D. adding to that legacy tonight. And a tag made, and in comes Carl Anderson, trying to prevent Tama Tonga from getting to the corner and tagging Tagaloa. He is successful. Close oh, oh, by Tama Tonga. Great opportunity for G.O.D. Anderson thought he had him there, but it was Tama Tonga exploding out of that corner. Desperately wants to make that tag to his brother. And he gets tag. it. Tag made, in comes Tagaloa. House of Fire taking Gallows off the apron as well. Tangaloa began his training alongside his brother back in 2008. They went their separate ways and reconnected in 2016 to form G.O.D. And they've been steamrolling the competition ever since. No matter who the leader of Bullet Club has been, they've been faithful soldiers. Whoa. Machine gun slipping behind Tangaloa, trying to turn things around. Oh, turns it into a neck breaker off the hip toss. Now Tongaloa makes the tag to Tama Tonga. They could be looking to close this one out right here, right now. Oh, double team great neck breaker. Into the cover to win the Impact World Tag Team titles, and Gallows breaks it up. Gallows rising from the floor just in time. That kind of wherewithal that makes them the champions that they are. Oh, now Anderson oh, leaps into the neck breaker. Now the cover to put away G.O.D. in defense of the titles and a kick out. And you can see the frustration starting to build for the Good Brothers. But you see the speed at which oh, Carl gets up oh, 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 immediately, shot. immediately tags Gallows. They eliminate Tongaloa off the apron. That tag team championship material oh. right there. And boom, oh, answer back. A message right back to G.O.D. to retain the titles and no surrender and a kick out. Two teams, one move, no pinfalls. This has gone back and forth. But how much longer will that go on? As this could be looking to set up. Thinking about the magic killer. Yes, indeed. Thinking about the magic killer. Tama Tonga finds a way out and suffers for it. Tonga Lua backing up his brother. Huge spear. Spine buster by Anderson. The look out. Tama Tonga right. Oh. All the way for the gun stun. He got that from Anderson. Anderson going for the gun stun. Oh, and it's turned around by Tama Tonga. The storied history of the Bullet Club of these four men is being written on the canvas right now. 
these teams know each other so damn well. Who's gonna get the upper hand? Both Tama Tonga and Carl Anderson getting back up to their feet. Tonga Loa outside with Doc Gallows. Two legal men in the match going at it. Up on the shoulders. Whoa. Oh, look at Tama Tonga. Oh, rolling thunder there. And immediately Tama Tonga going up to the top rope. Off the DVD, up top. Big splash by Tama Tonga to win the titles and a oh. kick out. So close to winning the Impact Tag Team Championships. Take a look one more time. Huge splash from Tama Tonga within half a oh, second. Hold on a second. Back to live action here. Trying to end it. They got this from the Good Brothers as well. They went for the magic killer. Wait a wait, minute. Wait, wait, wait. Back here, screen. That's Chris Bay of Bullet Club. Trying to turn the tides in the Bullet Club's favor here, perhaps. Our Gallows goes out to Tonga. Meanwhile, Chris Bates still on the apron. It's Bullet Club business. The Tonga Loa seemingly not okay with what Bates doing out here. Oh my God! Oh my God! Gallows oh. slam outside the ring. Look at Chris Bates. He reflects what we're all thinking. What a huge change of pace so far. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my God, what the hell is going on? A Blade Runner from Jay White to Tama Tonga. Are you kidding me? Your winners, and still Impact World Tag Team Champions, the Good Brothers. The official was dealing with the mess on the outside. He never saw the involvement of Jay White. But you have to ask, what in the world just happened to Bullet Club? comes to Bullet Club, when you're out, it's public and it is brutal. I don't think anybody was expecting that to go against G.O.D. tonight. You couldn't have predicted it, but there it is in black and white in front of you. G.O.D., you can say B.Y.E. to the Bullet Club. Uh, what a series of events uh, that have played out here at No Surrender. No doubt, we are going to see the fallout of that in the coming weeks, and especially two weeks from tonight, which is the next time we come to you live on Impact Plus and Fight. It is Sacrifice, Saturday, March 5th in Louisville, Kentucky. We will return live here on Impact Plus and Fight TV with Sacrifice. Well, we are not done yet as we try and collect ourselves. Plenty more to come because coming up next, 
next. It's the Impact Knockouts World Champion, Mickey James, set to face her number one contender after the opportunity that Tasha Steeles was able to capture last month at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view. This is the first Knockouts Ultimate X match. Tasha Steeles makes history. The Knockouts World Championship. Ow! Just a Mickey James is gonna make sure she buries Perazzo in the rubble. I am officially the history maker, cause the culture queen, La Boricua Badass, the Flavor Gang leader is coming for you. Hora four. Tasha Steele's letting everyone know her intentions here tonight, but Mickey James not had enough of it now. An impact knockouts world champion all over her number one contender. I would like you to wrestle half as good as you ran your mouth. What? Because if that was the case, you would have probably been world champion a long time ago. Oh, Mickey! Could we be getting a preview? Blackout! Oh, the cross of Big Bomb steals his pin, Mickey James! Imagine the magnitude of a victory for Tasha Steeles if she takes out the legend, Mickey James. Well, it is championship time again as Mickey James defends that Knockouts World Championship against Tasha Steeles, winner of the first ever Knockouts Ultimate X match, the number one contender on the role of a lifetime. Does she get it done tonight? From two-time Knockouts World Tag Team Champion, to history maker. Ready for a party here in New Orleans is the Bariqua badass Tasha Steeles and what I believe, no pun intended, the X Factor in this match very well could be the woman holding the ultimate X, Savannah Evans. Well, wherever Tasha Steeles goes, Savannah Evans follows. It's less uh, an X Factor, more an insurance policy, just to make sure things go down exactly the way Tasha Steeles sets out to do it. Well, it was recently here on Impact Wrestling on Access TV that it was Tasha Steeles, the way things went down. She pinned the Impact Knockouts World Champion, Mickey James. Can she do it again against one of the greatest competitors we've ever seen in women's wrestling? I mean, there's, there's no doubt about that. Mickey James has a legacy that speaks for itself. James comes into this fight with a very different frame of mind. She has absorbed the mind games from Tasha Steeles, who's trying to get under Mickey James' skin, trying to talk about her husband and her son. Is trying to make it personal. Mickey James came into this weekend. Oh, she was at a concert last night in downtown New Orleans, singing her head off, having a great time with her fans and friends. Mickey James is handling this like she handles all her business with positivity and professionalism. I mean, and that's great. And if, you know, the night before a huge championship match, you want to be out till all hours of the night, that's not what hanging I'm out with rock I'll stars, running yourself ragged, then that's fine. You make yourself easy pickings for someone like Tasha Steele, who was at the prime, who was at the top of her game. So, you know what? If you're Mickey James and that's what you choose to do, you're the champ, you can do it, but you might just pay the price. The opportunity of a lifetime for Tasha Steeles against Mickey James for the Impact Knockouts World Championship here at No Surrender. Ladies and gentlemen, No Surrender continues with this Knockouts World Championship match. Scheduled for one fall, your referee is Brandon Toll. Introducing first, in the corner to my right, accompanied to the ring by Savannah Evans. 
She is the number one contender and challenger tonight from the Brick City, Tasha Steele. Her opponent in the corner to my left, from Richmond, Virginia, she is the reigning defending Knockouts World Champion, Mickey James. It is about the Impact Knockouts World Championship tonight at no surrender. Mickey James set to defend against Tasha Steeles here in New Orleans. And we are underway inside the Alario Center. Yeah! Mr. Raywall, what does Steeles have to do to outmaneuver Mickey James? She's got to keep ahead of every step of her. I mean, she is. She's younger. She's faster. She's got this in the bag, if you ask me. It's a matter of how can Mickey James keep up with Tasha Steeles. I mentioned Mickey James enjoying herself there in New Orleans last night. She performed at a concert alongside Chapel Hart, as you can see right in front of you. Sisters Danica and Devin Hart and their cousin Tria Swindle. They performed a beautiful rendition of the national anthem here to begin our night at No Surrender. Never know who's going to show up here in the impact zone. You gotta believe that kind of ticked off Tasha Steele, judging from what we heard from her earlier on tonight, that she didn't say, oh, I don't care that you have your band and your friends here. But at the same time, Mickey James coming into this evening when she's not sweating Tasha Steele, maybe Steele's is sweating James now. On to the outside here. It's a bold claim there, Tom. I'll see if it pays off for you. And both these women tied up here. It's more of a brawl than a wrestling match, remember. Champion's advantage, of course, to James. Title can only change hands via pinfall and mission in the ring. But they had it until just this moment. They stayed tied up the entire time in the ring, out of the ring. The tenacity of both wrestlers is on full display. And that confidence. James rolls back inside. And now inviting Tasha Steeles to join her back in the ring. Tasha's smarter than that. She's going to control the pace in this, of this match on her own terms. Would the pressure of a moment like this get to Tasha Steeles? It, it, she only made her debut in professional wrestling uh, four or five years ago. Yeah, and she's here. What does that say? More, the question is, could it? Could it happen to an, any other superstar? Sure. Nerves get to you. The adrenaline can get to you. But I know talent when I see it. And Tasha Steeles has been showing that in spades. Tasha Steeles, I believe, has all the ability in the world, all the potential in the world. If she can knock off a legend, someone who I believe is a future Impact Hall of Famer in Mickey James, how does that catapult one's career? I mean, to the stratosphere. Look, I, I have my own feelings and past with Mickey James, of course, as we've all seen before, but there's no denying her accomplishments in this business, in Impact Wrestling in particular. So if someone like Tasha Steeles can put her away and become the new Knockouts World Champion, that's a whole new level for Tasha Steeles' career. Boom! Wrestlers training bridges back and forth. Here's a cover by Steele. James able to pop the shoulders off the canvas. Mickey James, such a brilliant athlete. Oh, shoulders down. Very close. Out for tenure. A little kiss. Ooh. A kick right to the face, Mickey James with the cover and a kick out, always doing it with style. Absolutely digging nothing away from that. And quite honestly, this match has been a little bit, but the pace has been very, very much more slow than I thought it would be at first. The, the kind of technical, the deliberate pace of it from Tasha. I was expecting Tasha to come out like a house of fire, but she is controlling this beautifully. I gotta say, personally, I'm still reeling from what we just saw moments ago between uh, the Good Brothers, G.O.D., Jay White and Chris Bay leaving G.O.D. down as seemingly the Good Brothers back in the good graces of Bullet Club. I'm, a complete shifting of the tides in both Impact Wrestling and the Bullet Club. 
Shoulder right to the midsection there by Mickey James. And there could be a shift into the tides in the knockout division. Off the middle rope, down goes James. If this matchup goes in the favor of Tasha Steeles. Title cannot change hands via count out or disqualification. Tasha Steeles taking this moment to regroup a bit. After it was James there in command for a little while. No, no, no. She's not taking the moment to regroup. She's taking the moment to come on out here. She's going right back after oh. Mickey James. Lined up nicely for the kick on the outside. Nicholas. Count of six out of ten from the official. Out of seven, <laughs> Steels has got to get James back inside the ring. Oh, into the steel steps, going to explore the space first, and now the official outside the ring, trying to get Steels back inside in this championship match. And I'm not sure if you heard it there, straight into the camera, letting the world at home know, playing those mind games with the husband of Mickey James. And it seems like Mickey might have heard it. Oh! The referee did reset his count. That was a warning there to Steele's moments ago, and Mickey James took advantage of it. Count of four. Count of five. Mickey James paying attention to Brandon Toll and now tosses Steele's back inside the ring. Just like Steele's that. rolls back out. Momentum shifts. Smart move by Steele's. Break the count. Get a little extra room here. It's just what you need to do. And right now. The chase is on as Mickey James in there. The X Factor, as we said, the insurance policy. Paying dividends, beautiful, beautiful timing by Savannah Evans. Say what you will, but Tasha and Savannah had that scouted perfectly. That's the intelligence. That's the intelligence factor of Tasha Steeles, knowing just when that was gonna come into play. Now Toss is the champion back inside the ring. Impact Knockouts World Title is at stake. Steals into the cover. Oh, no. James and a kick out. Savannah Evans looking on from ringside as Tasha Steals trying to dissect the champion here in No Surrender. Exactly. Savannah Evans simply looking on. Just, you know, making sure things are going smooth. A series of clotheslines here by Steels. Using the bottom rope for these kicks. And now Tasha Steels firmly in control. Tasha has been riding a wave of momentum ever since winning the first ever Knockouts Ultimate X match. And that was a hell of a contest, a hell of a fight. 119 days as champion for Mickey James on the other side. Won the title Whoa. for Diana Perrazzo and this sending steals across the ring. And Mickey James needed that. She very much did needed that separation as Tasha Steels has been firmly in control of this. Oh. Now the fight from the knockouts world champion, Mickey James back with a beautiful boot. Great kick by Steeles. Is it enough to win the title? Here's the cover. James gets the shoulder up in time. Come on, there you go. Into another cover. Hooks both legs and a kick out. That too, and now a flurry of forearms. And now is the frustration starting to build for Tasha Steeles in this championship match. The biggest opportunity of her career. No, no, no. See, that's the thing. Many people in this situation would get frustrated, but Tasha, she's kept it in check. She knows what she's bringing. She's not losing it. She's not losing her cool. She knows what she brings to this table. Oh! Oh! I think maybe James, she just bit Tasha Steeles. That's one word for it. Either way, trying to get in the head of the number one contender. James whipping Steels into the corner. Steels was expecting Mickey James. Oh, whoa! That is legal in a women's match. This is entirely, maybe not entirely new attitude for Mickey James, but one we have not seen in a hot minute. And Tasha Steels in the past, she's asked Mickey James if she wants to get nasty, and Mickey James clearly is content to get nasty in this matchup. Here we go. Oh. And the momentum has shifted. 
flapjack by Mickey James. Oh, you know how that she can get. She hit you in the head with a chatar in a Texas please. death match. Why? I don't need to be reminded the scars on my bald head remind me every day, but Mickey James looking to fly now. Put Tasha Steeles away for good. James up top. Ooh. Oh, the top to see it sent on good to return here. the title. Kick out by Steeles. Take a look again, Fez press from the top rope, but not quite enough to put away Tasha Steeles. Steeles showing her resolve. Oh, and Savannah Evans had crept up on the apron, and Mickey James with the mid kick. Oh, and the cutter. A cutter by Tasha Steeles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know, look at Chelsea Green. What's Chelsea Green? She has nothing to do with this matchup right now. Chelsea Green was back to Mickey James oh. against Evans and Steeles in the past. In the past, that's not now. Leave this match to the two competitors who are booked to be here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Going for the blackout. Thought about the crucifix bomb. Now Mickey James, middle of the ring. Whoa, whoa. Back and forth. Oh, really ran into Chelsea. Mickey sent Steels into green. The cover. Wow. James retains against Steels. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still knockout world champion, Mickey James. Mickey James gets the job done and no surrender. The closing moments of this match are filled with chaos, but it is Mickey James who walks out still. Knockouts World Championship, much to the chagrin of Tasha Steele. Green and James celebrating despite the inadvertent contact. Tasha Steele's biggest opportunity of her career up in smoke. Mickey James retains, but still to come tonight in our main event. Fights to stay in Impact Wrestling against Team Impact, who are getting ready right now. This has been honored no more since day one. They have been nothing but a parasite. Frankly, we're sick of this crap. It doesn't matter. We're going to whip their ass. That's all that matters. How do we know it was honor no more? Eddie's been questioning your loyalty to this team since the start. How do we know it wasn't you? Hey, hey, guys, I just talked to Dr. Ross. He said Eddie's not medically cleared to wrestle tonight. What, what are we gonna do? Is it gonna be four and five out there or what? No, 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 no. Trust me, I got this handled. I found a replacement. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right, boys, the time is now. No more arguing, no more nothing. We gotta stick together, be a unit. We are here and we're doing this for Impact Wrestling. Let's do it, boys, for Impact! For Impact! For Impact! impact Hell yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Honor no more. It doesn't get any bigger than this gotcha. for the world's championship. My oh, Moose, oh my God, through the table. Moose smeared the ref on accident. Powerbomb, cover. That would have been three. We would have had a new world champion. We would have had a new world champion. Scott got him. There's a spell that can't be broken. There's a word that can't be said. Bruce, that hard to kill? I had you beat. Truth is, didn't beat me. Here comes Morrissey. Oh, and Dice caught the crossfire. Right now, Moose looks like he's trying to get out of here. You're gonna get your hands on Moose, but you're gonna get your hands on Moose when it matters for the world title and no surrender. The Impact World Champion Moose is here! Moose has been ducking Morrissey for weeks now! Where are they? Where are they? Brian Myers is duct taping the wrist of 
W. Morsi to that rope. Sitting on top of the world, I'm looking down. Cover! Morsi wipes out fires! From behind! It's the Impact World Champion Moose! Absolute sickening thud. The Morsi shows up to no surrender. He's not stepping into the ring with just another guy. He's stepping into this ring with the greatest world champion in all of professional wrestling. Oh my God! He is standing in deep! W. Morrison! Look in his eyes, he is very pissed off. This is the opportunity that W. Morrissey has been chasing ever since he came here to Impact Wrestling. It's why he aligned himself at one point with Moose to get closer to an Impact World Title opportunity. Well, tonight, Morrissey gets it. No more running, no more hiding for Moose. That matchup is still to come here in a matter of moments here. I do want to update you in regards to our main event, the matchup between Honor No More and Team Impact. Eddie Edwards, it appears to have been taken out backstage by Honor No More, taking his place will be Willie Mack. So that is the decision from Team Impact. And remember, if Honor No More wins, they get to stay here in Impact Wrestling. If Honor No More loses, they have to go. So the decision made by Team Impact. Uh, um, guys, is there, is there another update you need to give everyone at home during this broadcast? Tom, Nobody you asked you to be out here on commentary. What the are you doing here? A professional wrestler is also commentate a pro. And I'm here to save the broadcast. Just stick with me. I'll lead you guys through it. Got to talk in sound bites, remember, okay? Absolutely. Yeah. Pronouns? Watch your pronouns, pal. Let's go. Oh, boy. Here he comes. Does this bring back nightmares for you, Brian Myers? The no disqualification match where you took the BQE three times, it's twice in the okay, tax. Let me rephrase that. Are you okay? You all right, dude? You feel good? Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, Thank yeah, you. okay. Concerned about my body with this maniac, this unhinged maniac, had no concern about my well being. I haven't seen VSK since. He's gone missing. Well, hold on a second. You, you fired VSK and Zicky Dice. You kicked them out of the learning tree, didn't you? They well, didn't do their job. Yeah. If Zicky Dice can get a bus ticket maybe to New Orleans, he can come here, but he's gone too, yeah. Sorry. Did you shut down the Learning Tree performance? I had to shut down the Learning Tree, yes. The whole point. We're taking a break. Yeah. It's because of Retooling. W. Morrissey. Retooling. You Re got you got in Morrissey's way because you said you wanted to try and align yourself with Moose to maybe get closer to an Impact World title match, much like Moose trying to manipulate Morrissey. Tom, have you thought that maybe Morrissey's gotten in my way? Like, I should be in this match? I should be having a world title opportunity? That's not a bad theory. That? That's not a bad point. Lights out. This is a thought villain like entrance that he's making here. Oh, nope, it's just Moose. Close call. One hundred and nineteen days as the Impact World Champion. Defeated former Impact wrestler Josh Alexander back in October at Bound for Glory with the call your shot gauntlet opportunity. Yeah, another guy who doesn't work here anymore. Why are we bringing up all these people? Brian Myers is here. I'm literally here right now. Because this is about the match at hand. Moose finally having to face Morrissey one-on-one. -on -one. Myers, you have to admit that Moose has been ducking Morrissey. Uh, in a way, sure. He's just, just strategic about it. I appreciate it. He's calculated, that. absolutely. Well, Morrissey belongs in like a loony bin, you know? Maybe a straight jacket or something? Can we invest in that, Scott Demore? You know, more catering, straight jacket for Morrissey. I think they'll be picked up around here, you know? Yeah, I will say, I know exactly what it's like, just like you do. I know what it's like to be in the ring with W. Morrissey. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match at No Surrender is for the Impact World Championship. It is set for one fall. Your referee, Daniel Spencer. 
Introducing the participants to my left. He is the number one contender and challenger tonight. From Queens, New York City, W. I can't believe Penza got through that without messing up. Also, can we acknowledge, can we acknowledge something here that W. Morrissey has And in the corner to my right, he represents Moose Nation. He is the reigning defending Impact World Champion. He is Moose! We, we need to interview both the parents of these two competitors. One doesn't have a first name, one doesn't have a last name. They're, they must have been upset at birth, right? Disappointed? I, I mean, wouldn't be Morris too. Morris has got an initial, at least. That's not a name. W? Did you just have a singular name at one point? Me? No. Yeah. It's a major issue. Get out of here. Out so of here. here we go. Moose versus Morrissey for the Impact World Championship at No Surrender. What I was alluding to earlier is I know exactly oh. what it's like to be in the ring with Morrissey. And I have never, ever seen him more focused. You call him unhinged, but he has his eyes directly set on that Impact World Championship. Two absolute heavyweights going at it for the World Championship. And this one, this one ain't gonna start slow. This one ain't gonna start methodical. These two are just gonna be a knockdown, drag out fight. In fact, it might not last very long. The Holy physicality cow, is already popping off. Grab a hold, what's going on here? Wait, what happened to catch his catch can? I don't expect a lot of that. This is the one. proverbial hoss fight. Oh, meet in the center of the ring. Big meat. Oh! Big meaty men slapping meat. That's what pro wrestling is all about. Oh, and both men go down. There's a reason why these two are aligned with each other. The two, arguably the two most destructive forces in all of Impact Wrestling. I have a feeling, even with all the tension, with all the bad blood here, there's a strange... Oh! oh spear! Oh. Spear by Moose! He's going for a second! Oh, baby, this is Lining it. Lining him up. This and already, I told you, this wasn't going to last long. Spear! There he goes! He gets oh, him! I, I got to call an Uber. I mean, this is over. And oh. Morrissey is out of the ring. Champion's advantage to Moose. And Morris, who's trying to take real deep breaths right now. Trying to catch his breath here, much like a heavyweight boxer, just trying to breathe in the interim, but Moose is right on his tail. And how about this, Myers? Moose is tossing Morrissey back inside the ring to dish out more punishment. He wants to make a statement. I love it. Keep going. Going for another Whoa. spear. Morrissey, how is he still going? Big boom right between the eyes. This action has not stopped. That's the intensity. That's how much this championship means. And here we go. Oh, my God. The oh. QE. And now it's Moose who rolls out of the ring. The title can only change hands by pinfall or submission inside the ring. But Tom, yeah. Brian, we are moments into this contest and both finishing blows for these superstars, for these wrestlers have been hit already. I guess they don't get paid by the hour here. This has started off hot and I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. Morrissey, who took two spears from Moose, you can understand why he's taking his time. The BQE delivered to Moose. And now, bad intentions here. Oh! oh spine in a barricade. And guardrails. And now the official is going to check on the Impact World Champion to see if he can continue. Like you mentioned earlier, regardless, this match has to finish inside the ring. If W. Morrissey wants to win, wants to walk out with that world championship, he has to get Moose in there right now. The official has reset his count. Count of two now for Morrissey to get Moose back inside the ring. Count of four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Morrissey's not done. Again into the barricade. I mean, Morrissey is clearly out of moves. He's only got five, so he needs to get him back in. He only there. needs five. And, and again, the officials are trying to see if Moose can continue in this match. I mean, if he can't continue, it's a, a technical knockout. Yeah. Morrissey will become the champion. You know what Morrissey needs right now? A airbrushed bodysuit to fin finish that giant Gonzalez look he's going for. That would be great. Then, then he's in the hunt. Then he's in the hunt. 
I mean, he's got a great tan going already. He looks great. He looks like championship material. Right now, he looks like an absolute madman on the outside. But Moose, look at oh my God, Morrissey oh. through the table. Well, at least it wasn't our table, boys. Moose with the urinagi to Morrissey, sent him through the table. Boom. And this, and How is Tom, Morrissey still moving? Only a moment. And like Swamp Thing rising from the... Oh! oh into the oh, post, oh, 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 right in front of our announce test. That had to hurt. Oh, boy. The official, again, has reset the 10 count. He is currently up to four. Moose rolls back inside. Champion's advantage. And Moose. rolling right back out. That's right. Manipulating the rules. They want to keep this one on the outside for now. A lot more damage can be done out there. As if there hasn't been enough already in this contest. Get the hell out the way. Get the hell out the way. Oh, the big boot. The cameraman was in Moose's way and ultimately helped out Morrissey. And no, you got to be oh, kidding no, me. No, no, no. The big oh. kill. Oh, hey, John Gonzalez, don't worry about me. Yep. You worry about him, because you're not going to win the belt out here. I promise you that. The official is trying to get control. Take a look at this. The power bomb to beat UE right onto the apron. Moose has to be nearly shattered here. And this matchup since the very beginning has been bomb after bomb after bomb. There is no slowing down. There is no catch as catch can wrestling. Can you believe as you said, Brian. to take his time out of this match to mean mug me? You think he's, he's still, still mad that my hair is more beautiful than his? Inside the ring, Morrison. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another BQA coming. No moose counter. The athleticism of the champion. Oh. Drop kick in the corner. Took his eye at the prize. Brian Myers is living rent-free inside W. Morris. That is clear. And that might have been just, well, that couple of seconds right there with you might have been just enough for Moose to mm -hmm. get his wherewithal back. It's not my fault he went to Johnny Rod's lousy wrestling school and he could have came to mine and become a real pro. And Moose showing his disdain for the fans and now lighting up Morrissey. Hey. Uh -oh. And right now, Morrison! Oh, firing back. And now, both these wrestlers. Let's go. Trying to see who's going to score. Oh! Oh! oh. Moose and Morrissey pulverizing each other. I've never been more happy to be sitting at this desk. You, you and me both. Morrissey's still up. Oh, and a collision center of the ring. Whoa. And now both these behemoths find themselves face down on the mat. In this championship matchup, it has been chaos since moment one. Both men have delivered their finishing moves. Moose has been sent to the barricade. Morrissey through the announce table or ring announce table at ringside. Somehow this match has continued. Two heavyweights putting it all on the line for the Impact World Championship. And Morrissey here could be looking for that BQE again. Moose slips down the back. Now Morrissey back up to his feet. And Moose oh, with another spear. A third spear. These guys are spent. I don't think they got much left in the tank here. Moose into the cover to retain the title. Morrissey, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Morrissey's arm was under the bottom row. What a coward. The hand broke the what plane on the bottom row. That breaks up the pinfall attempt. The match continues. This 
this hard hitting contest goes on. Take a look at this. Here's the spear from Moose. And you'll watch see Morrissey rolling towards the ropes and his Moose as he goes for the cover. Keep your eyes on the hand of W. Morrissey. The right arm. It breaks Wait a minute. Play under the rope. The BQE. The BQE by Morrissey. Now Morrissey into the cover. Hook to the leg. And the. Wait a minute. The, the, the foot's under the bottom rope. Morris, the, Moose's foot is under the bottom rope. Genius move by Moose. Genius. Both these gladiators find themselves in identical situations. Because let's not forget, no one has kicked out of Moose's spear. No one has kicked out of the BQE. These competitors are finding any way to stay in this matchup. That's how much the Impact World Championship means to both of them. And now Morrissey just pounding away on Moose. Got to be thinking, what do I have to do to put Moose away? Thinking about another PQE, and instead, Moose able to back him up into the corner. Ooh. How much more do these two have? They've given everything. They've taken everything, and they keep on going. Moose somehow has got W. Morrissey up on the top turnbuckle. And that's... That is a lot of humanity oh teetering God. up there near the top rope. It's going to be a long way down. And a painful one at that. Moose and Morrissey, Ooh. and it's Moose who goes falling down. Oh, my God. Moose is back up. Moose is back up with Morrissey. The absolute athleticism, and now looking to hoist Morrissey up. The seven-footer looking to fall. Ooh. Super play. The hell is he up? I can't believe this. And now Moosey wanted another spear. Oh, and he got it! Another spear from Moose. This time, make sure Morrissey is in the center of the ring, and Moose has beaten Morrissey. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. And still, Impact World Champion, Moose! From the very beginning of this contest, both these athletes, both these behemoths, as I said before, threw everything, every weapon they had in the book from minute one. But it is Moose who stands tall once again atop the mountain that is Impact Wrestling. But more importantly, back of the line for W. Morrissey, huh? Watch this. Morrissey thought he'd avoided one final spear, but the oh. Impact World Champion able to find his mark. I'm, I'm going to see if uh, I can get Morrissey like a BTI match or something this week. He's starting yeah. over again. It'd be that's, nice thing to do. That's, that's something to consider. But right now, we want to turn our attention to our main event. Eddie Edwards is out. Willie Mack is in. It's Team Impact versus Honor. No more. Group of 
piece of carnies that are just out and looking to cause mayhem. No surrender. You and your thugs lined up against Impact's best. You win, you stay, you lose. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Chris Saban standing up on the half of Impact Wrestling. Chris Saban's back oh, up at ringside has been ejected. PCO King Saban. On him, on him, on him. Saban. PCO fires the first shot in this war. It is Honor No More against Team Impact. If Honor No More wins, the chaos will continue. No surrender. Honor No More is walking in a cohesive unit. We can trust, trust each other. Get, get your house in order before stepping in the ring with Honor No More. She's just stirring the pot. You have two choices. We either stand shoulder to shoulder as a united front, and we go to war together, or you go find another partner. I'm in. I'm in, too. I'm in. Let's do it. And as we learned earlier tonight, allegations against Honor No More for taking out Eddie Edwards. Willie Mack has taken his place on Team Impact. They battle Honor No More. The future of this company is at stake now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special 10-man tag team match set for one fall. Introducing team number one, Accompanied to the ring by Maria, Kenny King, Matt Taven, PCO, Vincent, and Mike Bennett. They are Honor No More. And in the words of Maria Canellis, this is a cohesive unit. Do you agree? Unfortunately, I do. And you know, I don't shudder at much, Tom, but I shudder at the thought of what an impact wrestling roster with an impact wrestling locker room with an impact wrestling landscape would look like if these clowns were a part of it on a permanent basis considering the chaos that they have caused i'll be very honest the reason you're sitting here not only injuries that you i know i know that happened to you because of honor no more but because what these scumbags did to d -Lo brown right after the hard to kill pay-per-view it's why you're sitting here you don't need to remind me I think about it every single day. Every time these clowns appear on my screen, I'm reminded. Gore, gore, gore. Their opponents representing Team Impact first from Detroit, Michigan, the War Machine Rhino. If there's gonna be an invasion, you want the War Machine on your team. From Baltimore, Maryland, Rich Swan. Another former Impact World Champion at the side of Rhino, and he was wise to call his buddy. From South Central Los Angeles, California, Willie Mack. The other No Limit soldier at the side of his partner, ready to fight for Impact. From Rutherford, New Jersey, Steve McLean. This is the unpredictable element of Team Impact. The mercenary who's been here less than a year. Can they trust Steve Macklin? And finally from Detroit, Michigan, Chris Saban. And with no Eddie Edwards, if there's anyone else you could call the heart and soul of Impact Wrestling, you might just say Chris Saban as he leads this team into battle. You can make the argument that Honor No More have a united cause, but the way that Team Impact has looked here as they're making their way to the ring, and honestly, the fluctuations that we've seen. At first, Eddie Edwards was a part of the team. Then for a moment, it looked like Jonathan Gresham could have been a part of the team. He was mysteriously found taken out. Then Steve Macklin enters the mix. This team is rolled with the punches, and they, they're prepared to fight for this company, which is what is at stake at the end of the day, because who knows what Honor No More could do if they're allowed to run roughshod. Well, I'm, I'm hoping you're right. That's the question hanging in the air over this main event matchup. 
is they seem to be on a unit. They do have a united cause, and that's to defend Impact Wrestling. But like you said, all the changes, all the turnover, all the even little bit oh, of distrust. Oh, and Vincent took a cheap shot at Macklin. The match has not yet begun. And already chaos ensuing. The bell is not yet hung. This 10-man tag team match, our main event, is not yet officially underway. It is an absolute brawl here in the impact zone. I have no jealousy of the referee in this matchup. I mean, what the hell do you do? I, there's not much you can do. Oh! Willie Mack and Vincent. Mike Bennett and Steve Macklin. Everybody paired off here on the outside. And Matt Taven trying to get into the frame. Maria Canellis, Bennett marching around here at ringside. And now tossed into the ring is Mike Bennett. There's Steve Macklin to join us. We finally have legal go. competitors from both teams. The match is underway. A 10-man tag team match. If Team Impact wins, Honor No More must leave for good. If Honor No More wins, they get to stay oh. in Impact Wrestling. And it is hard hitting already. Big shoulder tackle there on Steve Macklin, who pops right back up. Steve Macklin, who did two tours in Afghanistan. He has a bone to pick with honor no more because they have attacked him in the past. That's why he wanted to join in on Team Impact. And there's something beautifully poetic, call it ironic, call it whatever you want, about Steve Macklin, the one guy who seemingly had the most trust issues on Team Impact. He's the first in the fray, the first one legally in this matchup to fight for Impact Wrestling. I'll say this, he's no saint, but at least he's getting into the fight. Up on the shoulders, Mike Bennett trying to control Macklin. Now speed picking up in this one, and Macklin shuts it down. And a back elbow, and Bennett sent scrambling, and an early advantage, it appears, for Team Impact. We get to make the first tag. In comes Chris Saban, and now Matt Taven. Bennett saw the tag and immediately scrambled to tag his longtime tag team partner, fellow Kingdom member Matt Taven here. And now Matt Taven tying up. Oh! With Chris Saban, Matt Taven, who at one point you could argue was the face of Ring of Honor as the former Ring of Honor world champion, stood for what the company stood for, and that is long gone. Chris Saban with a crossbody out of the corner. Saban, whose first match ever here at Impact was all the way back in 2003. His roots run deep. Like I said, oh. another heart and soul of this company knows the kind of spirit that flows through this locker room. A perfect representation of Impact Wrestling. Able to control Taven. Now tags in a former Impact World Champion in Rick Swan. Swan Whoa. and Rhino, they've been the tag team competition. Oh, against Taven and Bennett. They know exactly what these two bring, and they also know all the distractions that Honor No More has utilized over the last few weeks. Yeah, and on that note, let's not forget about, tag. you know, we talk about X Factors, we talk about difference oh. makers. Maria Canellis is not simply a pretty face on the outside. We know what kind of influence she can have in these contests all the time. Vincent into the matchup here has got to be smiling because Josh Alexander not only not a part of honor of a team impact, not even a part of this company anymore. Those two faced off in singles competition weeks ago. Right now, Rich Swan trying to turn things around against Vincent. Picking up the pace here. We know how fast he can be. Oh, the highlight reel from Charm City. Now the horror king, Vincent, has got to regroup. Speaking Vincent, of horror. Backing off. And the freak, PCO, has entered the fray. Perfect creation one, the French-Canadian Frankenstein. He was able to defeat Chris Saban a number of weeks ago thanks to plenty of involvement from Honor No More. And early on, it looks like maybe an injury to the left knee of Rick Swan. Oh, boy. That dragon screw taking Rick Swan, Rick Swan down immediately, but it is the war machine. Rhino, and this is a match. 
I want to see right here, right now. Talk about two veterans in pro wrestling. Oh, Rhino, about 27 years. PCO, about 35 years in professional wrestling. Rhino's first appearance in Impact Wrestling came all the way back in 2005. Shortly thereafter became the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion representing this company. You want to talk about stats? You want to talk about numbers? Well, I did a little calculation on the team of Impact Wrestling. There's about 88 years of pro wrestling experience. Meanwhile, I don't know more, a staggering 102 years combined of pro wrestling experience. And you know here in Impact Wrestling, the numbers don't lie, and that's a scary stat. How about this? About 600 pounds of humanity are beating the hell out of each other right now in the center of the ring and loving it. And I can feel every bit of it. So can everybody here in New Orleans. Oh. Who's going to get first here? And it is Rhino who gets the better of PCO yeah, finally. Yeah, yeah. And oh baby. The former X Division champion Willie Mack. From ECW to EC Dub, it's Willie Mack. Oh quickly gets his head taken off by PCO. And, and Willie Mack is getting a taste of what the bulk of Team Impact has been dealing with for the better part of a month now. Because remember, Eddie Edwards was supposed to be in this matchup. Willie Mack only got tagged in, so to speak within the last hour or so. Short notice. That's why they tell you, you know, it's an old wrestling thing, man. Always have your gear, always be ready for a fight. Because you never know when it's going to come looking for you. Willie, he knows that well as Kenny King nearly takes his head off. Kenny King, we saw him in action against Chris Saban. Saban got the better of King. King, we know, is an extraordinarily arrogant, loud, and flamboyant competitor and came in virtually out of nowhere. We mentioned that matchup between Vincent and Alexander. That's where Kenny King emerged. Oh, Whoa! Was Kenny King and Willie Mack. Oh, a big shoulder tackle. Drop kick for Willie Mack. The speed, athleticism, and all that charisma. A great addition to this team. Willie Mack and Rick Swan have been rolling together ever since they both arrived here in 2018. Tag made it, comes Swan. Ooh. Doesn't hurt to add a great tag team to a five-man team in the likes of Swan and Mack. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All the tag team continuity you could want. Ooh. And look at this. Some frequent tags now by Team Impact. Look at the cohesion. Go firmly in control of Kenny King here. In, out, always keeping it fresh. For Saban, tags in Steve Macklin. Saban, the first man to extend his hand to Macklin when Macklin offered his services to Team Impact. Hit with a backbreaker. Here's the cover and a kick out by Macklin. And now Team Impact in firm control by Kenny King here. Drop toe hold and look at the symmetry. Oh, the teamwork between Saban and Macklin. You would have told me even a week ago, here we go. Oh, would win this match and a kick out. I would see Steve Mackin playing nice with anybody to that degree. I would have slapped you silly. But I am glad to see it here tonight. Every pinball attempt, it, it's life and death for honor no more. They, whoa, Maria Canales gets between Saban and King. And now Bennett trying to get involved. What did I tell you? Could be a factor at any time. And boom, huge Death Valley driver. And now look at this. Taven with just the tip. And now OGK trying to get out of the ring. King is legal and a kick out. A very cocky cover there by King. And it might have cost on her no more. I don't know. Tags. That was all on purpose. He knew very well that it wasn't going to get the win there. It was all about the showmanship, all about the mind games. 
Taven and Bennett trying to take advantage while the referee wasn't seeing their involvement. And now Taven illegal into the match. Oh. No, 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 it's not I. Saban. We talked about the tag team continuity of Willie and Rich over on Team Impact. Let's not forget Mike Bennett, Matt Taven, long history together as tag team. Tag team champions in both Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling. That's a cover by Bennett and a kick out. Every time there's a cover, Honor No More is looking their future in the face. And they're trying to send him a message while doing so. Saban trying to avoid all oh, the kingdom. They were trying to set up maybe for a double team there, and Saban able to evade. Whoa. Now look at Saban go! And pin it down hard! Saban always fighting, will never stop fighting. Even when the odds are against him. And now looking for that. Gotta be looking for that tag. Gotta be looking for that tag. And he there it is. It. Here comes Rich Swan to beat Matt Taven. Kick right to the face. Oh. Oh. And look at Vincent oh. and then Kenny King. And now Vincent looking to control him. Oh, oh. And Taven inadvertent contact to Vincent. A little bit of a miscue there on the behalf of Honor No More. And once again, Team Impact oh. taking advantage. Big boot in the corner. And security by Swan. Swan is cleaning house. On absolute fire. Here we go. Oh, oh my kingdom come. Huge collision by Bennett and Taven, courtesy of Rich Swan, who ain't done yet. Out to the apron, Rich Swan. Oh, no, no, that might have Swan is down outside the ring. And now Honor No More trying to get him back inside. Oh, a nasty landing for Swan. Cover by Taven. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clearly got his feet on the ropes. You're going to have to try to hide it a little bit better. Tag made Kenny King into the match. Senior Impact Wrestling official Brian Hebner is going to call this down the middle. Just like that. It was feels like seconds ago Rich Swan was on fire cleaning house and now he's firmly in the corner, firmly in the control of Honor No More. Just like that, this match is turned around. Now Kenny King out of the corner. Look for a pinning opportunity and instead. Spinebuster! Cover on Swan! Know. Honor No More can't put away this matchup. Tag. Just imagine what Impact Wrestling management, Scott Demore, Gail Kim, and others are thinking watching this match. They might have to deal with these animals of honor no more every time there's a pinning opportunity. As if there isn't enough on the plate of Impact management with all everything going on here. Boom, and Impact Wrestling, I can't even imagine. Brain Buster hooked to the inside, leg and a kick out, and I believe Saban got there as well to help Swan kick out. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. It almost makes me because the talent on this team, the talent in honor of more is incredible. But just the way they go about it, every single thing they do. Oh! Bennett setting up Taven nicely. Oh, driving Swan into the canvas. Oh, and broken up by Willie Mack. Partner watching his back. That's what teamwork is all about. Protecting Impact Wrestling. And now Taven drags Swan into the corner. Vincent's legal. Michael Madman Vincent got more than one screw loose, that's for sure. As credit to Rich oh. Swan has stayed in this contest. Stays alive, keeps kicking out, heart still beating. Oh, and now, oh, high on the shoulders, on the neck of Swan. Oh, and driven face first into the canvas. Now is the cover, and it's broken up by Saban. Honor no more, trying to secure their future here at Impact Wrestling. It's a great save by Saban, but it does start to concern me. 
the fact that Team Impact has to keep getting in and breaking up these pinfalls. That means we are getting closer and closer to maybe Rich Swan not being able to kick out. PCO with a distinct size advantage here on Rich Swan, who's taking an absolute beating. Here's a cover on Swan. I don't know more, nearly sticking around for good here in Impact Wrestling and a kick out. And for the second time in like 60 seconds, Rich Swan is spiked, but somehow stays in this, and now it's PCO wearing him down, grinding him down. There's so much on the line. It's not, it's not just, it's not just a gig for these guys, not just these guys working for a job, as they say. They're working to change the landscape of this company. And now please oh my god! PCO crashed and burned, how is he back up on his feet? Because he's a freak, I was gonna say of nature, but that doesn't even he's seem not appropriate. Human. He's a human car crash. Macklin Jaw jacking there with Taven on the outside. Somehow PCO continues. Trying to crawl to his corner. A tag is made. It's Bennett to meet Willie Mack. And here we go. Tactical oh. Willie activated. He's got you in his sight. And Mike Bennett feeling the rest of it. Here goes Taven down to the mat. Willie taking away some tag options in Vincent and Kenny King. Very shrewd. Out going after OGK. Runs back for top speed. Nothing slowing down Willie Mack. Two for one for the Mack. And all the spit and fire in the world. Forearm shiver in the corner. Now lining him up. Coming back for more. Oh, oh baby. And landing on his feet, style points on top of devastation. And now look at Rick Swan trying to help out his teammate. Look at this. Looking for the teamwork here. Ooh, shot the spinning neck breaker with the setup from Mac. Could Otto no more be done than broken up by Taven. Now oh, Swan thumped outside by Taven. Down goes Macklin. I love the chaotic action, but I keep itch itching for this one to end. Oh, and Taven goes after Willie Mack. Referee's trying to get some control here in this matchup. He had it briefly, but it seems to be breaking down once again. As now Kingdom looking to hit the double team maneuver right here. Ooh. Proton pack. This could be it. Could Otto no, 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 no. stay? And it's broken up by Saban. Great save by Chris Saban. And at this point in the match, everybody on both teams has to have made. all the awareness, eyes in the back of their head, watching for those major bombs, those major pinfalls. It's Macklin and Vincent. Vincent caught in the corner. We know what's coming. Ooh, caught in the crosshairs. Remember, PCO had made a tag to Vincent. Macklin didn't see it in a choke slam. Now Taven up on the top row. This is breaking down. Referee, come on. You got to get a little bit of control here. CO is still legal. Oh, and the leg drop off the top. Kenny King has tagged himself in. Oh, the chin checker. Has been all in the favor of I don't know more. The last several seconds, the last several moments. This is starting to heat up, and now Vincent able to drop Rhino. Kenny King back out, Vincent. No, no. I don't know more. Could they be sticking around? And again, it's Saban. Saban is always there. He's always watching. Got his head in the game, representing Impact Wrestling. He will not let it change the way I don't know more wants it to. Now Saban stuck there. Maybe King was thinking about the Royal Flush. Macklin backing up Saban. Ooh. Oh, into the official! <laughs> Macklin got tied up there with Kenny King. It only went into the official. And now King on Macklin. Oh, no, 
no, no, no. You can say inadvertently all you want. It was Kenny King who sent him there. Oh, and Kenny King wiped out by Saban. That's Hayden looking to fly himself and go crashing. over the top. But not to be denied, Rich Swan. The future of Impact Wrestling is at stake. Oh, now Swan sent face first into the apron. Watch Take this. A look. Oh, baby, the flipping sent on for Rich Swan. Willie Mack trying to save his partner once again. Oh, and a spear! Oh my God. Oh no. We've seen this before in the PCO. Rising like the Frankenstein monster himself. He's almost like he's reanimated, ready to inflict some major pain. PCO's oh. animator to Mac and Swan. No, 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 they're trying to set up Vincent now. Oh, God. We've seen this in the ring, but to see it from the top rope to the floor in this position, no way! Red Rum! Here it is again. This is the D animator coming out of PCO, crushing both Swan and Mac. And then the red rum from Vincent off the top, assisted Ooh. by Bennett and Taven. Mac and Swan are in trouble. Team Impact is in trouble. The numbers are dwindling. This entire match is imploded. God. Bodies flying everywhere, bodies crushed everywhere. And with everything still on the line. It is pure bedlam and ringside. This match continuing. And no, PCO going up top again. PCO salt. <laughs> it is absolute chaos because the official's still down. The PCO salt crashing onto everyone here. Take a look from another angle. The absolute bedlam that has erupted here at ringside. And the crowd is calling for it. The man beast himself is here. For real. Oh, man. Uh, Benedict Taven. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. It's Eddie Edwards. It's Eddie, and he's not alone. He's caught fully loaded. He's ready to fight. Eddie Edwards fighting off Taven and Bennett. Oh, Maria, you are not in the right place or the right time. Honor No More took out Eddie Edwards and kept him from this match. Oh, you think? No, you got me. Oh, my God. What?
Eddie Edwards, once the heart and soul of Impact Wrestling. That is no more.